because you left. I stayed you got, because you, you stayed left. on. Hello, so. hello, he hello, stole, hello. He could have still stayed. Hello. If I'd stayed. Hello. 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 Welcome, everybody, to uh, the four year anniversary of Dungeon Select. It's kind of, kind of wild. We started four. this. Okay. So our first session went live 23rd of September uh, 2018. That's when we did the first session yeah. of, of Dungeons Like Campaign 1. And since then, we're, we're, we're doing our second campaign. Uh, we're doing Dungeon Discourse. Mm -hmm. We're doing, like, a, a, we've made our own channel instead of it being on Laura and Mine's channel. We've come a long way. And today is one of those days where I get to be sappy and feel very appreciative of, of the support from both the community but also my players. Uh, so I want to, first of all, thank everyone very much for sticking with us throughout the four years. Ups and downs, mainly ups, couple of downs. Uh, and um, I mean, I'm, I have no intention on, on uh, of, of quitting anytime soon. And I hope that uh, the people that I have here with me agree with that. Um, oh, we're not telling them this is my last session? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so before we like kick off anything, I just wanted to, a big thank you to everyone involved in Dungeon Select, my players. People here do a lot of shit behind the scenes as well. Uh, to make sure that You're everything, welcome. especially Koiba, <laughs> Koiba, Koiba does a lot. Now, uh, some yeah, more than others, me, but you know, today, the today new GM's is not the day to be nitpicky. To, you know, some everybody <laughs> does their part. Just want to thank everyone for for sticking with us and and watching and, and sharing fart. and you know the guests that we've had along the way, James, Ecto, all okay. of you guys. Thank you so much uh, for for Shadow. for. Yeah, like everybody for, for <laughs> wanting to be. Uh... Been James, James, Ecto, OSG, Natty. Have we had anyone else? Opti, Ethan, Opti, Ethan, Vincent, Vincent. 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 Oh, Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Uh, and there's probably people that, that I'm forgetting about, but like I mean, all Daft of you. Was supposed to. Daft oh, yeah. was supposed to, but you know. Daft and Sage will are waiting in the wings for the day. We Actually, can make one it day happen. It'll, it'll happen. But yeah, so yeah. thank you so much, everybody, for all the sports. We're here to celebrate four years of, of this this production. I guess is some is is a work is something to call it now. We're no more just the indie game. We do some shit on the side as well. You know, every Monday we try to do some gaming shit. Every Thursday we try to do a dungeon discourse. Uh, Bell is kicking ass at at being. In charge of the YouTube side of things, although right now it's a bit on hold because of her laptop, but you know, it you should know, be fixed in a week. We all we all and know Belle, do she doesn't it. accept help, so I'm, I've God, decided not to ask anymore. And and Ethan and Belle also collaborating on, on helping us with the, with the, all the artwork and shit. Uh, Duke with the podcast uploading, Duke, uh, yeah, that too. Me and Craig show up. So cool, yeah. so cool. Laura, <laughs> Laura being our our our, and I've only our, done that our, for half our announcements. The campaign. Uh, I'm our the hype person. That's what. Uh, I mean. Yeah. Your social media manager. Right. Social media Except manager. Except Knox, I don't have access to any. No, no, that's true. No, I think okay, I mean, if you want, I can give you access to Twitter. That's you know, all you got to do is ask. I'll collect Twitters. I have access to the level select Just Twitter. Don't get us Twitter, canceled. Now the dungeon yeah. select Twitter. Uh, Laura will be the last person to get is us canceled. <laughs> But yeah, so thank you all very much. Whether you're an old uh, viewer or you you joined in along the way, or you, this is your first time watching, hello, welcome. We would be highly be here confused. If it wasn't for you. Uh, the last four years has been amazing. Dungeon Select is something I look forward to every week. It is a passion project of mine, and um, it's it's a good time. And I really appreciate being able to do it this way, play D and D with my friends, and 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 have you guys watch and and share in the. The joy and the and the sadness and everything in between that comes with uh, an immersed D and D game. Right, that's me done waffling. Also, thank you, Dutch, for making a fucking yeah. two yeah, worlds at least of DMing, dealing with our bullshit world. every week and fucking one well, world, two multiple continents, continents, and fucking <laughs> also like the idea of Dungeon Select came from Level Select True. and like <laughs> you said, hey, I want to do some DM like DMing, and you got. A group of fucking basically randos to fucking just come in and <laughs> actually true, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we that... barely knew each other. I didn't yeah. know Ethan. Barely. I didn't know Bell. Didn't know Koiba. The only people yeah. I knew going into with this was like I, I knew Duke and Soko, and then I had Same. met Laura a couple we, times we because of the other stuff. Yeah. Like, I had yeah. been in like Duke and Dutch's stream like I'm, twice, if that. The only person Duke's... I regret meeting is Ethan. So I think you know <laughs> that's one in seven. That's pretty good. Fuck you, I have a cat. I think Ooh. we all feel that way. <laughs> I, yeah, no, you're welcome. I do this with a lot of pleasure and love, Koiba. So I appreciate I appreciate you yeah. appreciating it. Yep. You know? 
Well, I appreciate you. Oh my god. Appreciate me, appreciate you. Uh, so before we get into the swing of things, we do have some announcements. Uh, yeah. Last Friday, the official announcement uh, got, got published that there's another charity fundraiser coming up. Uh, charity Select is back, this time from uh, the 15th of October through the 15th of November, correct, Laura? Yes, correct. Uh, raising, money t money t raising money for the charity uh, that we've supported uh, Supported the most, I feel like, since we've been doing these uh, charity uh, yeah. street, uh, charity uh, fundraisers. Special effects. We know them. Woo! We Yay. all love them. We know what they do. We know what they stand for. So, uh, starting October oh. 15th, another month of um, epic charity uh, fundraising and campaigning. Which also means there's going to be some one-shots on the channel, baby. Yes. I'm going to be running two. I'm going to be running the sequel to last charity campaign's Witcher one-shot with the same cast Hell of characters. Yeah. So excited. That's going to be yeah. fun. And I'm going to be running, uh, insp inspired by Bopo's random idea in chat oh one day, God. a Hunger Games style uh, battle royale one shot oh where yeah. chat can donate to the charity and drop magic items, to you know, care packages to specific that characters uh, uh, for them to go collect and stuff like that. It's going to be fucking amazing. I mean, I have amazing. to be in that one because everyone wants to kill my character. Yes. yes. You're going to be the fucking, you're going to be the money maker. Like, that's <laughs> actually... <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna die in the first three seconds, bro. Because it's for charity, mm -hmm. therefore, if you will draw out donations, no, you you'll have you'll have plot armor <laughs> for like the first two hours of it, and then you're free game. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You know what I mean? So it's a really farm catch. <laughs> and one of the incentives of the uh, campaign of, of the charity is that I will said that I would do uh, also try and do a charity one shot during that time as well. Whether or not it'll I be on this one said I'd do a charity or next one. one. Fucking last charity like I still haven't. Well, mm -hmm. so. I'm, I don't but, know if I'm gonna have to pull that out. At whether or not, whether the one will yeah. actually be a charity one shot or if it will just be a one shot at some point. But Yo, hey, it won't be a, a won't be monkey a, island uh, one shot, bro. Uh, uh, Barrow, <laughs> an actual one shot <laughs> one. I I haven't put it on there yet because I'm debating how I want to mm -hmm. do it, but I kind of want to make uh, add an incentive because we have our of course our spreadsheet, which we haven't released the finalized list of incentives yet for donations because yeah, some of our streamers in, so are still I'm brainstorming. But I want to add to it because I got that from the Kickstarter that. Jane Austen inspired like Feywild wedding where some wedding where something mm. bad happens oh, like it's not a one shot but it's like a short it'll be like yeah, anywhere from two to four sessions based on how long the players take so I might I want to find a way to tie that into an incentive because I'm gonna do it so saying I'll do it if we raise a certain amount of money is kind of disingenuous because I'm gonna stream it regardless but maybe we... I make a player like if you donate you go in a raffle to be one of the players or something I don't know I need if to figure it out if they raise okay. enough money the players have to dress like they're going to a wedding <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, I like that. That's a good oh. one. Yeah, that's that, right one. Someone write it down. Raise enough money. Write it out. Stream it, and at the very least, me for sure has to dress in formal, like you know. I will absolutely. either either maybe wedding people can attire. donate to make people's characters too. It's either wedding attire or I dress as the officiant since I'm the DM of the mm -hmm. wedding. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's a good idea, Ethan. Damn. Oh, and you, you have to you, all your ad libs like it has to be a bunch of like. We're gathered here today. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Marriage like, really, is what really... brings us to a yeah. battle. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, other than All that, right, announcements done. wise, uh, I got, I, I, got one. I got cut wide open, bro, and it's gnarly. But you're, you're oh, back. Yeah, you're back. See, that's improvement, right? That's crazy. You're alive. Yeah. <clears throat> He's here. Uh, uh, I guess nine days. Nine days out of recovery. Still pretty Woo! gnarly. Feeling good about it, though. Like can't show it on stream, but you know. I mean, saying nine days out of recovery makes it sound like you've been in fucking Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, okay, I got surgery nine days ago and have been recovering. Like you know, it, it is what it is. My Those dude's organs been laid up in bed, snacking on mozzarella sticks and chilling. Hell no, dude, because <laughs> mozzarella sticks off the menu because your boy got a poop, man. Like, <laughs> let me tell you. Fucking, I had like one dose of morphine. Dude, I, Bell must never shit. <laughs> like, it's rough in these streets, man. Yeah. Morphine what sucks. Wait, what morphine, happened? Duke, the ultimate uh, cure for IBS. Duke, uh, hernia, right? Was I'm it? all here on it. He has a hernia surgery. I got a hernia fixed, yeah. It fucking sucks, dude, but I, it, I'm good. No right. worth it for the pain meds. <clears throat> but he's back, baby. Uh, I didn't get I didn't get any pain meds worth getting. All right, let me oh, tell you. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like I said, I got one dose of morphine at the hospital. The rest is ibuprofen and. Get fucked. Lord, I can't remember if I announced it last time because. We recently were supposed to have session five for my Call of Another Deep campaign, and then various players were just not 
uh, feeling up to playing, so we had to postpone, and our schedules are bitches. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I announced it last time, but we know our next two sessions, we're, we're gonna have had almost a two-month break, and then we're gonna play two weeks in a row. We're playing October 22nd and October 29th. Let's go. Full-length sessions, and four I mean, I guess, hour and sessions. And that's, during the session. and that's during the charity fundraisers. It is, can, and it's during the charity fundraiser, so mm -hmm. I can... Maybe we can tie in something like that. I can like that, yeah. tie it in somehow, maybe, I don't know. Or not, but still, you'll be Probably laughing. Probably not, because I'm, I'm, still character still dies. Scare, I'm still a scared enough newbie DM, and it's that's a fair, that's fair. Uh, largely pre-written module, but maybe what I, I could do is I, I'll let, like, if he raises a certain amount during, I'll let chat come up with an NPC to insert, because I can oh. I can insert a character into the campaign. Yeah, true, point. true, true. Yeah, we'll see. Okie dokie. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have anything to announce or anything to say uh, before we uh, kick off? Just thing to note, I was thinking uh, for the charity streams that I'm not sure what the incentive goal would be, but at some point, if we raise enough, that I would do a reading stream of like Lovecraft or Dracula Ooh. around Halloween. Um, if you want to do it around Halloween, then to. just pick one of the earlier on, because the minimum's 500 and the two 500 slots are taken, but then at like 600, you could put that so that it's yeah. more likely to hit during October. Yeah. Um, kind that of thing. Kind of thing. Dope. Oh, also, some of us here that. are going to be doing day one kickoff stream together, like me, <laughs> Play Dutch, Among Bell. Us, baby. Playing Among Us, bringing it back. We're all going to hate each other. And, and if Craig. anyone else wants to join who's Smile. here, we have room open. And Koiba, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't get invited <laughs> to these things. So. It was asking the, well, because Soko, like Discord, you get a you Delete all your Discord, Soko. You okay. <laughs> yes, Therefore, sir. that's a new problem. Because it was put in a room where everyone here had access to the post and the sign up sheet. So if you didn't. Join, that's a you problem. That is not an us but problem. But he left every Discord that he was ever a part of. So that's yeah. like, uh, you know, he mm. cleared out his entire Discord thing. The great You're purge. Gross. You. Great purge. Uh, but if you want to play Soko, <laughs> there are still slots, Soko. There are slots. Straight out of Mean Girls. <laughs> right. Anyone have anything going once? Oh, also, I have bronchitis. Nice. <laughs> going twice. Oh, wait, 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 oh. wait. Yeah, wait. <clears throat> Does mm -hmm. this sound okay? It sounds echoey, but that's the point, I feel like. Yeah, okay. Yeah. As long as it's right. Cool. Hell yeah. All right, sold. So, today we take a break from uh, the ragtag fuckwits, among other names. Uh, they've they've been called the last uh, 40 sessions or so. To go back in time a little bit. Uh, we go back to a year after the defeat of Orcus by the Heroes of Exile. And what is also the first year of a new era. The Heroes of Exile kind of split up after Orcus' defeat and, and, and did their own thing for a little bit, uh, which I want to give everybody the opportunity now to kind of recap what your characters have been up to over the course of the last year. Uh, I'll start with uh, Belle. Oh, sick. Okay. Um, Trim and Akkanis uh, slowly traveled to Thermogar through Sigalia, just helping out randoms who needed things killing in whatever place um when they actually got to the darash mountains they started rebuilding um that like including a guild hall for uh the heroes if they come visit uh with an attached temple to chromatis um where there's uh, uh, memorials for uh Naronk and ash and Tramaris and the circus um Akhtan has put Gunslinger's best friend on Naronk's memorial and left it there. Oh. Um, I'm start focusing on rebuilding. Um, she kind of went back to more like her uh, barbarian roots with, in terms of her leadership style um, with a little bit of what Trim described the druid's lifestyle to be like. So... One of, her main rule is that anyone can take over and usurp her power as long as they are strong enough to fight her and win. And the community agrees that they, they consent to that leadership. So far, only one person tried it, uh, an orc dude, and uh, no one has tried it since. That's fucking badass. And that's basically it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, it's I like mean, people, fuck it. people Laura, agree you wanna... they'd be a good leader first, and yeah. then they can challenge her in combat. Because also, it's like, okay, maybe you're strong, but if everyone in the village hates you, we're not gonna like fucking you. Fucking hates you. Lead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Laura, would you like to tell us what Trim has been up to since a lot of what Trim has done was in collaboration yep. with uh, Octanus? 
yeah, so yeah, we so we did the journey to through Segalia and to Thermogar together. Um, during the early stages of rebuilding, Trim was mostly helping via her like wild shapes, like lots of being an earth elemental to help move like stone, especially since it's uh, it's in the mountains, so it's not like there's you know lots of like soft or fertile soil or easy to move around things would be like ice, rock, snow, stuff like that. So uh, helped with the physical rebuilding. Uh, the aesthetic looks very much like Windhelm in Elder Scrolls. If you want to know what it looks like, just picture the city of Windhelm, or at least it's getting there. Um, and then once we had enough of the basic, like the the bones, foundations, enough of the necessary infrastructure established, she went to work on um, attached to the secondary guild hall for the Heroes of Exile is her own infirmary. Because once building was done, at least for now, she became just like the village healer slash medic slash doctor um has been focusing on just furthering her like cleric life domain study and skills um but and tra uh, trained a few apprentices as well she has a few i guess like if she's the one doctor there's some nurses that she's helped train um and then there's also a greenhouse uh, uh since of course it's very snowy icy desolate mountains there's a climate controlled Greenhouse for both medicinal plants as well as just the plants to make her feel a little more at home and like bring a piece of the Valen forest up into the mountains. Uh, and it also, there is a hidden wall where only through magical access, because only through plants that can be moved magically, there there may be a secret little room for growing burning bush. And she's, nice. trying to rival, <laughs> she's trying to rival the size of the one that was at the old guild hall and see if she can beat one up herself. Trim's a drug dealer. I Let's go. How, I love how, like, neither of the locations are very ideal. To grow, like, one yeah, is a in desert a fucking and the icy desert, mountains. The other is in, like, a, in, like an icy, snowy fucking mountain <laughs> range. Like, neither of those are real <laughs> ideal climates for the growing of weed. But, you we're know, you make it, 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 it work. Whole new... <laughs> we're not really an ideal party either, you know? So... Yeah. Yeah. There's some real interesting yeah. strains in those conditions. Right? Yeah, absolutely, I, yeah. absolutely. Mm. There's um, also... I can't remember if Belle mentioned it, but we made also... There is a temple to Chromatis, <laughs> as per Nicole's request, is one of the, the things there as well. Um, there isn't, like, a real structure or anything dedicated to Melora. Like, her greenhouse is just kind of, like, if anyone else, you know, who is in that place followed her, it's a good place to go. Oh, and there's also a very large tree that she's been magically helping grow faster, so it's large enough to do the transport via plant spell. So that way I have a way to instantly travel if Actonis or I were called away to do anything. Oh, yeah. She has also been casting every day. We're about six months in, so we're halfway through because it takes casting every day for a year to make the spell permanent where i can make um the area of the greenhouse um protected via the druid grove spell so it radiates protection magic and it would be permanent Sick. but i need to cast it every day for a year and i have trained a few other i i called i contacted some of the other druids in the valen forest and um found some who knew the spell so that if i ever have to leave before the year is up they're willing to come and take over and cast if this works i don't know if it has to be the same caster for a year but trim's knowledge she doesn't know any better she has some backup druids ready to come babysit Darash and the greenhouse and continue casting the spell if i have to leave and interrupt the process yeah and during uh your Exonus's work uh, in Darash, uh you were uh supported by pricknell who kind yes. of Took a step back from his uh, his duties for the uh, for the mages of uh, Kalzir to kind of function as somewhat of an assistant to uh, you know the people in charge of of, of Darash. Um, oh, and my parents visited. I invited once it was built up enough. I invited my parents to come visit for a oh, little yeah. bit. And Pricknell has since then uh, pretty much told the mages that the work in Darash uh, makes it so that he cannot. <clears throat> really uh, dedicate time to his other duties, and he's he's he's, he's permanently in Dorash now, making sure that he, he functions at somewhat of a say. You know, if Octanus is the if Octanus is the one in charge, he he is like her her, her personal like assistant, making sure that yeah. In her absence, uh, Pricknell will be the one taking over and making sure that the the town keeps functioning, keeps keeps on rolling. Yep, yep. And uh, that has also made him some more research and his background and his family tree and that sort of thing and he's really been been invested with that and uh you know the occasional visit to check out uh how nicole is faring in, in calzir at the guild hall getting kind of getting that family bond a bit more reinforced as well because 
they know each other, but they don't really know each other. And that's something that he's kind of been working on yep. for the past year to make sure that that family bond kind of uh, got reinforced. So, yeah. I figured I'd throw that in there because it kind of involves the whole Dulash yeah. situation. Yeah, that's cool, what cool, we've cool. been up to. Uh, Duke, what has Gen been up to the past year? Gen's been out of this world, man. <laughs> and some eruditious exploits in the Feywild to become a college of glamour bard, having become pretty enamored with it in the time that he spent in the Feywild. Um, also, funnily enough, creating his own safe haven uh, using guards and wards every day for a year. So, <laughs> hey, great minds. Trim the same, <laughs> <laughs> the same paranoia, I guess, to some degree. Uh, I don't We've know. had more time, though, to do it because yeah. I haven't been able to use the full year because we had so much travel time and then building time. I've well, I don't really know how time months. works in the Feywild either. I was going to ask, has it been a year for Gen or has it been more? Uh, it'll have been a material plane year. Material That's plane year, but like Feywild, it'll have been, it'll have been several years. So, okay. Getting real. That's weird. So I would be all, I'm aged more than everyone else. I guess, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah. more time there. Yeah. Um, I guess. But that's that's basically the main deal. I mean, it, it's crazy. It's crazy to just completely overhaul a character because, like, <laughs> can't multi class. So I'm still a bard. I just am a completely different bard now. Um, yeah, so for the most part, other than using magic to keep in touch with everyone else and make sure everyone's doing fine, he's mostly been keeping to himself and doing what he did for the, the like, several years that he sort of, in his, in his, uh, adolescence when he went to Bard College as four different people, except now he's going as just one grey little man, um, in the Feywild, working hard to just master a, a, a new parallel craft so that when um when he feels confident he can bring it back to the material plane and start his own college there i don't think we're there just yet because it's not been that all that long but you know that's no, the but you're working together so. with um <clears throat> the college and the teachers in uh the city in the wandering trees the wandering forest uh Naronk's old hometown um of course to uh to establish um an extra an extra bard college there on the on on campus for for bards that want to like again uh look into the college of glamour side of things instead of uh what was it college of law cool college of sorry college of law college of i said because it's cool as hell yeah there's college of eloquence isn't there Something yeah there's so I, I believe there, there were so two many. i don't remember exactly but there were two bard colleges there and the college of glamour is, is going to be the one that gen is trying to set up essentially yeah because college of glamour is, is like specifically to the fey wild and uh something that he wants to kind of bring to the bring to the material plane and, and pioneer i guess he also um chronicled the at least the parts of the first campaign that he was a part of as accurately as he possibly could and there you know songs and and ballads and laments and sonatas that he's composed about each of the the sort of standout events and published it everywhere with the go ahead of everyone else in the guild obviously <laughs> uh, to make fat stacks <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah all right well, isn't it cool? Been, then invested uh, in the local oh. community, obviously. Ob obviously, naturally, naturally, wouldn't expect Chaotic anything good. else. <laughs> right. What is uh, what has Nicole been up to, Quiver? Um, Nicole has been hard at work trying to get the guild sort of set up, sort of getting a uh, in a weirdly similar way to getting Darash set up, getting a you know sort of structure in place, recruiting, trying to sort of put a word out kind of almost weirdly setting up like a like say like a town like trying to get trades done making sure there's a good connection to darash oh he... fyi you were also named godfather of kasaran and matrim's next kid since you're there and she's Woo! there FYI. Oh! <laughs> i'm going to ruin that child <laughs> just like <laughs> this is this is now how you blow a hole through a wall right <laughs> um, here's a grenade you pull the pin yeah yeah pull the pin. <laughs> uh, i was never good with these <laughs> Um, he, yeah, probably we've been hanging out with Kisaron, um, a bunch, and probably trying to give, like, Madrim some time, like, if he needs to get away, he needs, like, a lad's night out, you know. It's boys' just... night! 
boys night you Lads know on tour. Yeah, exactly um anytime he's away i think like would have given uh peter is control he's probably like, the number two there for now um yeah nothing like huge he's just basing himself he's nice he's sort of like in that like wants to just be at home and doesn't is feeling good about them to travel all the time and like it's kind of nice to have a base have a relax obviously still goes in the adventure when he can and does go see Zarash and tries to keep everything up there but for the most part he's just sort of trying to keep this little guild that he, that he sort of claimed as a little project up and running yeah and obviously <clears throat> with the guild now uh being like a year post um the defeat of Orcus, uh, you know, recruitment and that sort of thing uh, has begun as well. And there's a couple of uh, apprentice apprentice mercenaries running around. You know, that would be like the next generation of 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 uh, you know uh, uh, representatives of the of the guild and that sort of thing. If it's trying to replace you guys <laughs> with just new people, like <laughs> no, you use a. <laughs> This is a gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just the first, like. Don't LP. look down the barrel. All right, so one of you is gonna have to lose an arm. Which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Who are holding down? Which one of you is the, the, the angriest? No, it's the first. It's the first tiefling that joins. It's like, it's rituals here that tieflings lose their arms. <laughs> it's tradition. Wait, man. We, we need to find a magic oh, arm first. Hold shit. On. Yeah, hang on. Um. Okay. And then you, you get another person you think to be like, uh, but you got an actual child to play Trig because she's so. Oh short. my god, dude! He actually just he just <laughs> he makes like a actual... smaller Heroes of Exile group. <clears throat> yeah, that's Alrighty. actually a guild uh, play group. That, you know, <laughs> cool. Uh, Soko, what has Morin been uh, been up to? Uh, uh the last year kinda, or so. Kind of retired a little bit. She uh, retired down to the Southern Isles. Uh, cast in the the castle spell. I forget exactly what it's called. Oh, um, make a shuffle of fortress. castle, uh, fortress. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Love that for us. <laughs> um, so we got we got a little thing down there. She goes and hangs out with like Thonis and Trim and Thrash here and then. You know, little, little girls' time. Um, she has a, she has an apprentice out there, kind of helps keep track of things. Little little housekeeping, that kind of thing. And then has spent most of her time just uh, tracking down Banat clones. Girls' night is all three of us pestering the others. Like, so when are you gonna get a like a boyfriend? When are you gonna get a girlfriend? We're like, well, when are you? And we're all just like, yeah, like um, we, we we work too hard. We don't have time. Slumber party. <laughs> More when saying, you know, tracking down but not clones. Um, definitely located a, a couple throughout the year, um, but there are there are they are out there, and More when kind of made that her, you know, looking back at the fact that but not. Definitely was uh, very responsible for the destruction of her hometown. Made it yeah. somewhat of a personal vendetta to make sure that every last but not clone um, gets tracked down and destroyed. Which is just another one shot in its entirety that yeah. we're going to be tackling at some point down the line. Um, Get there. <laughs> um, cool. Hell yeah. Lastly, but definitely not least, what has Aberan been doing the last year? Beanie? I mean, Abran, for the most part, has been flitting in and out of the Shadowfell. Uh, one of the main components of the deal that he made is, once Orcus was dealt with, he was going to, you know, his 9 to 5 with the Raven Queen. Well, they which, is... <laughs> which is... Which uh... is... As far as I'm aware, mostly going out and dealing with people that should have died and didn't. Yes, you're. Um, you've completely taken over Tianora's uh, duties. She, um, you know, being the the main champion of of the, of the Raven Queen before you, she has completely uh, retired and has since also properly uh, passed. Uh, moved on to to the plane after, um, and you've taken on. Taken, taken on her responsibilities, being, yeah, being the official champion of the Raven Queen, making sure that any th any threats that threaten her, her followers, her disciples, or or or, or the shadow fell uh, that falls onto you, to make sure to fix that. Okay. A lot of work. 
And uh, roughly, you know, we're here, a year post uh, the defeat of Orcus. We start today's adventure in Shadowfell. Um, Bran, you uh, get summoned by the Raven Queen to have a, a, a conversation in her in her tower, uh, which you naturally you oblige and you you make it to the the chamber. She doesn't live in that tower, but she does have her set like this is the room where we'll meet if I need to talk to you and that sort of thing. So you 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 find your way to the chamber. You see before you <clears throat> uh, a, a figure, uh, a feminine figure, large black raven wings, kind of fashioned into robes, um, with another set of raven wings properly, like like perpetrating from her shoulder, from her shoulders, and the stone expressionless mask. And uh, she looks at you, or well. The mask is pointed at you. You have no idea if she's actually looking at you, but the mask is pointed at you and um Have a seat, Bran. I will take a seat. This is unusual. It is, but um desperate times, desperate measures and whatnot. Um We are running into a little bit of a problem. More so than we have been? Yes. Because it's personal. Sanctums around the material plane are being attacked, and all the priests and priestesses murdered. No trace of the killer besides a note left at each one. And she'll kind of like magically make a note appear in your hands. And the note just says, <clears throat> It's time to stop hiding, Aberan. Time to answer for your betrayal, and time for me to finish the job. And then, if you flip the note over, it says, Find the gateway to our final confrontation in the Smoldering City. I assume you understand, or know, who wrote this note? These notes? It is a troubling and rather inefficient way to contact me, but yes, and I assume that you have some vested interest given what he is. Yes, but, you know, I don't control. The, the, the moment he gave his soul to a different deity and he got turned into what he is, it's no longer my responsibility. Well, it is my responsibility, but I have more pressing matters. But with him targeting my priests and priestesses in order to get to you, moved him up the priority list, so to say. Understandably. So I'd like for you to deal with this threat. Whatever means necessary. Very well, that should be done. All right, and she <clears throat> just kind of looks at you and walks up and and gives gives Nev a little a little pet, as as Nev still sits on your shoulder, and she just disappears into like this flutter of of, of black feathers. I will descend the tower and summon sticks, my yeah. undead warhorse. Hell yeah. And I will head to wherever the nearest portals of the material plane is. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you reach that portal, and you step into it and you appear in the material plane. Uh, you appear in the Sanctum in Kalzir, which uh, has not been hit yet. The priests and priestesses there are very much alive, taking care of the Sanctum. And... You get the word out to your uh, former compatriots, your fellow members of the Heroes of Exile, to meet you for uh, an important meeting in the Guild Hall as soon as possible. And they all answer the call. And we fast forward a few days um, to. That was me fast forwarding, by the way. <laughs> 
them all being gathered in the dining room of the guild hall just outside, you know, just on the outskirts of Kalzir. Hilda being there, making sure that there's food uh, on the on the table for everyone to kind of snack on while they wait. Oh, God bless Hilda. Um, oh, that's the best. Itana's parents yeah, yeah, yeah. and Johnny kind of vibing around, catching up with some of the people of the party. And then you enter the room, Bran. And we'll uh, take it away from here. All right, well, it's lovely to see you all, although circumstances are not brilliant. Out of, out of character, did you tell us the circumstances, or did you just say, like, I have something important, like, can we all meet? Like, what do we know right now? Could have Bran sent in a letter. I am... Um... I feel like to pull to pull homies from other planes and shit, you gotta yeah. state why it's urgent, you know? Yeah, no. <laughs> Everyone, yeah. If people are on other fucking planes, you've all got a letter that's like, hey, so the homie who fucked us is back and fucking shit up and we need to deal with it. Ooh, right. love in that, Brian. In that case, Ooh. I just... <laughs> Ooh, love Brian. <laughs> uh, in that case... I'm not sitting in a chair. I'm just using my like levitating ring to just float, so I can see above the table. Nice. And we're all sitting, <laughs> and I'm just gonna be like, um, it, you're gonna have to be a little, a little more specific, cause, cause th this, this just says the the homie who, who <laughs> fucked us, and that's that's a lot of people. Could be a few people. Well, it's not Benak. I I'm still tracking him down. Oh, Thanks that's not a name I've heard for a long time. Thanks for making that the official letter, Laura. <laughs> you said it, you said it, you said it, man. Verbatim. You said it. Yeah, it verbatim. verbatim. Yeah, Bran, I, I know you're not we made the enemies. most articulate, but really, could you not have helped us out a little more than this? I came a long way. I was drafting letters rather expediently. Um, plus, you know, Nicole is getting old now. I didn't know how good his memory would be. <laughs> he does seem a little frail. Well, hang on about. I'm doing some paperwork for a little bit, right? I need these reading glasses now, and suddenly <laughs> I'm a little bit frail. It's just some glasses, all right? Leave it out. <laughs> I mean, You've always I... been a little bit frail, to be honest. Okay, okay no, not. enough. <laughs> everyone, everyone shush. <laughs> all right. <laughs> The Death Walker, <laughs> Peter, who technically killed me, is resurfacing to some extent and has made it very clear that he, he intends to do much more harm unless I go fight him. No, oh, as, wonderful. As you say I mean, that, like, even if, like, a super low passive perception, everyone might see a lot of the levity of like trims like oh everybody's in one place again just kind of very quickly fades from her face she even sinks it like her levitation kind of sinks a little bit <laughs> and she all of a sudden looks much more serious much more stressed what's he going to do Abraham? kill you again hmm. how many of the sanctums uh, of the sanctums has he attacked um one two three four Oh god. Seven. Jesus. They each have what, like like twenty nice people in them? I am between ten and ten to fifteen uh, priests and priestesses, yeah. He's going to do more than kill me and has killed about a hundred followers of the Raven Queen specifically to get my attention. I can't imagine it will improve from there. Right. Yeah, that is quite a lot worse. He sort of got you there again. And <laughs> seeing as everyone complained morosely last time I went alone. Oh my wasn't god. There, but Don't last bring that time up. You went alone, you were killed. <laughs> so his did he he didn't tell you to come alone, right? He he just said to to come. So if he you did bring not your friends, that... you're not dis you're not you're you're not not following instructions. It's less about that and more that this time he doesn't have, to my knowledge, anyone I care about. 
That's because we're all here, duh. You Children. have very few friends. That's adorable. <laughs> Rather well, then, than getting into it? semantics of my of my friendships in the Shadow Fell, there are people there. Oh, true. That was other really than rude. the Raven Queen. I'm sorry. That's us. And that one lady that turned into a dragon. And that was in the so, nightmare realm. Rather a few people there, the actually. <laughs> yeah, it was. The Shadow Fell. It was Shadow Fell. Yeah, yeah, Shadow Fell. That, that was a, that was a whole really? Raven Queen thing. Yeah. Oh God. It was guarding it's been a the while. tower. It was guarding the tower. Ah, oh, it was. Oh my god. It's all coming back. Mm. Can you remind me of the contents of the letter? Where was I supposed? To... Where, where are we going? Uh, it said that city. you would find uh, the gateway to your final confrontation uh, in the smoldering city. And for those of you uh, that were a part of the Heroes of Exile in the very early stages, uh, I think Bran was also a part of the Heroes of Exile at that point. So I think only the Brobarians and Bran no. would remember no. being having gone there uh, before, and that was where you first encountered uh, a dragon as yes. a party. So we got our riches. Yes, it was educational. It's uh, a small city, still ruined uh, to the north of Galzir. I'm gonna let you totally thought he meant Morwen's hometown. My bad. So did I. <laughs> No. no, that's not smoldering. Well, that's what they called it now, the smoldering city. That's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got. It fell into lava. It's, it's, it's big smoldering. Dead. That's, that's pretty it's smoldering. Just called, it's not just called the hellhole. Yeah. Like, you like, should oh. still have the maps of, of, of the expanse, right? Uh, somewhere. Yeah, we do. They're probably pinned, still yeah. pinned, yeah. They are pinned. And uh, the smoldering city is, uh, is located it's not too far north from uh, Kelsier. It's one of the cities that got attacked by. Uh, a bunch of did, dragons. Did the Raven Queen leave me with the note? Yeah. I will pass the note around. Oh, well then. Obviously, nobody is obligated to come with me. Nah, shut up. Well, obviously, we're going. Um, do you have transport or do I need to take us? Is there, it's a, not... is there a per chance a teleportation circle in the smoldering city? I do not oh, remember there being a... I, I mean, I, I, I could, cool. but only if there's a tree, and it doesn't sound like a place where a tree would be. A smoldering city in a desert. It wouldn't be alive. It doesn't need to be alive, it just needs to be standing. Did I see any trees when I was that Dutch? <laughs> Broken, burnt, f uh, and and fa f fallen over. Yeah, l l yeah like last no, you remember. No. Granted, it's been a few years, but no one has started up any efforts of repairing the city since you last visited, and it was just the entire city was turned just a large dragon's den. There, there's not much life there. So teleportation circles, trees big enough to 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 use for for that sort of thing, probably not. No, if I remember correctly, it's not ridiculous to travel, though. No, it's only a few like hours. A... Yeah, because it's in the same place. It's, it's literally Robin. like... It, it's literally like next door. To we the have castle. horses. The guild just oh, went... Yeah. It, it won't the guild. take us long to travel there. Like trim turn into a giant bird or something and flies all I over there. Or... Can oh I got a new I got I have a new shape one <laughs> see. <laughs> Maybe not in not indoors. Outdoors. I, I was about you know. to say. Outside. I was gonna say if we're gonna go to station, we just kind of take it easy. Try to conserve. It, it might be worth yeah. simply Ourselves. traveling by horse. Yeah. Okay. Haven't done that in a while. I was about yeah, to say the so same hot. thing. <laughs> you guys don't so steal the right yeah. horses. I teleport everywhere. Uh, yeah, While you're having this conversation, it must be really time. unhealthy. While you're oh, having this conversation, I just walk. Quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I walk over, around my castle. Sublora. I'm floating Sublora. over to Aberan and I'm feeding Nev some crackers from my bag. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Party <laughs> 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 cracker. 
I haven't done that in a while. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Oh, and by the way, Bob, doesn't Bob need Bob to here eat, too. but just fucking, just humus tray him. <laughs> yeah, no, literally. He does. Yeah. I know, I know that, 100%. But... Absolutely. And also, Bob is here. Bob's sitting on my shoulder. Oh, oh yeah. My god. rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit god. The my rabbit predators. god. The natural predators of ravens. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, will go out to the the stables that are sort of half touch, or at least the small sort of area that we have some horses. Um, and just sort of say to whoever's manning them, like, I'm going to be running some of these out. You might want to, you know, uh, they might they might not come back. Might want to need to procure some more. This is, is that series, Guildmaster. Yep. All right, I'll uh, make sure to uh, get. Uh, we have we have we have plenty of room to get some extra anyway, in case some of them do return after all. But uh, I'll uh, I'll get to it. Cool. I'll uh, I'll put an order form through as well, and I'll start fucking, you know, God. Why why both my characters now fucking go to bureaucracy? I fucking hate this. <laughs> I hate my life. What is it? Is a, point, a player problem, not a not a character problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the horses. No, it's you not that bad. You know what they say, pins might even the sword, or whatever. No, no <laughs> it's not that bad. It's literally, it's literally cool just walks Raging up there and says, I'm taking these, work. lol, because I'm the killed master. Get out my way. Nicole pays <laughs> someone not. to do his paperwork, because he can't deal with mm. reading. Uh, as, you you kind of, as you all kind of gather uh, reading glasses. by the horses, Hilda comes outside and quickly, I'm um, just pulled some baked goods out the oven, if you guys want a little snack for the one the way. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Nicole, yeah. those, uh, those, those, those brownies you wanted me to make, right? With the, um, probably, probably a no-no for this Yeah, not for trip. this one. Not right. for this trip, no. Um, but oh. get the, uh, menu for the special events ready, you know. If I get some guests over. Right. As she says about the brownies, I just go, don't worry, I've got it covered. And I brought some of the burning bush that I grew with me. And I hold out a pouch. Why have we become a bunch of stoners? All right, uh, I'll, quickly <laughs> pack some, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly pack something up for you all to, to kind of, you know, snack on on your way. And um, it's good seeing you all, though. It's, just, it's just been a while since I last seen you all looking like you're about to face death. Didn't miss it. <laughs> we haven't yeah. yet. Well, well, not all of us, anyway. She she goes inside and comes out about like like fifteen minutes later with some like uh, small little little pack lunch kind of vibe, you know. Stock bro, yeah. Stock bro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the handsome old to to, to each and every one of you. Yeah. Right, good luck. Don't die. Try not to. Mm, that's yeah. the plan. Or any anything you guys <laughs> would like to do die. before you uh, set off? Uh, I'm going it, not so to much the white horse potions. and name it Milk. Milk. Nice, Milk the horse. <laughs> I thought you said Milf. To be honest, <laughs> that works too. Not so much before we go, but just while we're riding, I'm gonna um, just be looking, looking again, and be like, "So how long? How long has it been for you?" You've been like a, a way away. Uh, Dodge? A, a, few, a few years, yeah. Four, four and a half years, something like that. How many? Oh. How how many more years do you think you you need to stay there before you're done? Well, I suppose something like this would be a a good test of my newfound ability, and then. Perhaps, after all this, I could get the college set up in, in, you know, another year or so, but I don't know if I spend a long time over there now. I think it would be hard uprooting myself, but I, 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 I do need to eventually. It's strange feeling so much older than I did and seeing you all almost no different. I don't know. I, I pull out a little jar that just has one of those like homemade it's it's like the jar but rather than like a metal river lid it's like that really 
cured almost like you know in the reusable beeswax like wrapping mm -hmm. you can buy it's like kind of like that and then tied with like twine and i pass it to gen like here um it's it's a homemade homemade face cream to help with with i, I it's helped some people with like like lines and stuff just since since you have you're you're passing more time than, well. than us so if, if you want to try and like look like we're aging at the same same rate you know i made it myself i give it a smell it has smell a faint good. like eucalyptus and lavender smell um so right now gen is unaltered he is a gray boy with his blue eyes and uh he he looks a little a little older. I mean, he was pretty young, but you know, he's getting he's getting there. Um, right. <laughs> for someone like myself, you know, and I, yeah, he sort of swiftly his his appearance changes to default human number three, but twenty years <laughs> old. Maybe something like this isn't quite as important, but I I, I appreciate the gesture, and I I do spend a lot more time looking like myself <laughs> these days so might come in handy, that's I what suppose. i thought i tested it on myself don't so don't worry it's it's fine it, does, it you won't get a rash or anything the first few jars were rough <laughs> yeah it wasn't great it's was a bad time this is a burn mark on like a chance <laughs> <laughs> i only tested them on myself if she polymorphs before she it. tests the face cream is it animal testing <laughs> Guess so. Oh, Bob. Oh, oh, my God. oh no. Makeup covered. How Anti dare you? Aging lotion. How dare you? Perfect. Right in my other possession. <laughs> <laughs> Anti aging. Nine out of ten Alrighty. doctors hate. As you, it is uh, non magical. It is purely herbal. <laughs> as you trek towards uh, the remains of the smoldering city, um, even now, like. Given it's been a it's been a few years since that dragon that that lived there got taken care of, uh, you can still smell just this thick uh, scent of just burnt wood. Bur some of some of the like bigger piles of structural, you know, beams and that sort of thing that are kind of spread around still still kind of smolder a little bit because of the intensity of the heat and the fire that was used in its destruction. Um. It's uh, it's it's messy, but as far as you can tell, there's no no dragon anymore still. So the, no new dragon has taken up residence there, which is nice. <clears throat> um, as soon as you approach the the city limits, it's very clear where you have to go. There is a wall, and on it's written, it just says "eye for an eye," and then you look down. The road, and there's not a wall, the same text, eye for an eye, written on. And you kind of see that there's just a trail of of, of that that leads you, that will lead you somewhere. Um, anyone in here uh, proficient in religion? Yes. I'm half proficient. I'm proficient. No. Um, the former cleric is indeed proficient in religion. That's crazy. Uh, roll a religion. Former and the current roll, cleric. <laughs> roll a religion check, please. Mm. Right. I'm not smart. I'm using though. I'm using Duke's dice for this. Can I can I half proficiently roll or no? No. So we have a proficiency bonus of plus six, right? <laughs> not All even right. with this advantage. So the total roll for me is a plus five. I got a seven, sixteen. Okay. What did you roll, Ethan? Uh, uh, twelve. Um, okay. Bran kind of figures this is probably some some whore, uh, you know, the, the god whore, whore as in H-O-A-R, by the way. Let that not be ah, misconstrued. Some whore. Uh, <laughs> some, some whore. Uh, some Trim, whore. You do know that another word for uh, another, another alias or title that whore has is uh, god of revenge. Uh, uh, slut. Uh, which is probably where the uh, uh, <laughs> the 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 eye for an eye comes into play. Yeah, uh, you know that he is a, a vengeful <laughs> deity of retribution invoked by those who sought to repay an eye for an eye. Uh, you also know that he is an exarch or demigod, so to speak, of Bane. Good. Um, okay. You do f know that uh, Hor himself isn't inherently evil. 
Um, he is he is what you would class as like as neutral as one can be. He just answers the prayers of people that seek revenge, and he doesn't care whether they're good people, bad people. Mm, you want revenge? I, I got you. Yeah, I'll help credit, you get it. Credit? No credit? Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, but you do know that he he is an exarch uh, of of Bane, and that's. Yeah, he is just there to repay violence with violence for those that 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 seem to or seem to want it that badly. I will just cast exposition and relay that to the group. Well, that's nice. Mm. I don't like that. Nice. That was paid when I died, but okay. Apparently not. They're not indeed. How dark is it where we are? Uh, it's a pretty clear day. You know, you're in the desert. Uh, clear blue skies. Pretty, pretty hot sun above your head. Uh, you know, your 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 brow does. Uh, you know, a little bit a little bit of sweat rests on your brow. You know, it's uh, it's hot. How, so, what do you guys do? do? You think it's gonna take to find them, or him? It. I don't particularly know. Who knows when we go? Well, you see that our portal to our final battle is going to be is here. So probably as soon as we find that, I'd assume. We'll be waiting. Probably won't be hard to find then. Like, if it was hard to find, he wouldn't get the revenge he wants, right? It's almost it's definitely a trap. Well, yeah. This whole thing is a trap. Did you not know this? No, but the point is that because it's you a trap... You didn't know this. And he knows we're going to walk into it. I doubt there will be a grand amount of difficulty in finding it. Is he the kind who, like, really wants a grand entrance? You know those people who, like, wah, and appear in, like, a plume of smoke or some shit? You oh, mean, like... those people. You like, mean, like, everyone related to you we've ever fought. I would say more like everyone we've ever fought ever, I think, has some sort of grandiose entrance to us. I doubt it will be grandiose. It's like a monologue, it will right, guys? Involve a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's the roast of the DM. This has been four years in the making. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sure we'll walk in and there'll be someone dear to all of us trapped somehow or one of us in peril and he will deliver a verbose monologue of it's not a bad idea how amazing what if he, just he is ambushes and... us just to admit, it, yeah. well that wouldn't be nearly as fun to write about I'm... in your time away you do seem to have become very world weary oh it's all sarcasm are you Might sure be it's only been like four years? Doesn't the sun like not set there? <laughs> How have you been keeping track of the days? All right. Well, you know, usually I'd sleep. And then well, I was going to say, he could also two. just look at the date he left and then the date he came back. Right. The date... Of course, here, I could look yes. at the date that I'm here now and the date that I left, but that doesn't help with the date over there because it's not really, it doesn't really... Well, no one really like knows what the date over one. there it is. So. Right, exactly, that's the tough part. So, at least seven. What it... We'll discuss this at a later date. It... All I can tell you is it's long enough for me to be really good at the things that I can do now, so... So we're taking a right. portal to meet this person, yes? Maybe. I believe so, oh, unless yeah. that was elaboration. But just a pity I'm casting a spell before we go through. If it'll break my spell or not. Okay. Anyways, uh, shall we continue? I imagine we should follow the eye for an eye shit. That seemed pretty good. Right, you know. Just be wary, I suppose. Hello. Hopefully, his 
hubris leads him leads us straight to his front door. Uh, wherever that may be. Um yeah, we'll we'll stop following the uh I fry phrase. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. uh, as you follow the trail, you get to a, a semi-collapsed building. The door seems very out of place, though. The door has a is is pretty much not broken at all, untouched. Uh, a deep crimson color and blackened, almost sandstone-lined edges uh, around it. Uh, I will use the divine sense. Mm-hmm. Just see if there's any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. And also know if anything is affected by the hallow spell. Um, no, but you do get seriously bad. Um, Juju. Yeah, kind of. Juju. Like, it's, it's, there's nothing among that description near it, but something of that description has definitely created this. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the cheese touch. Ew. <laughs> Why? Jesus. Well. I think this probably might be the place. Are we are just going to go in gung-ho? Or... Maybe let's not open the door by hand, seeing as you two, not point at the barbarians, have a track record of things like that you have no idea how much after spice i just want to run over and push that door open but i'm a different i have never died there. well there's no need for that <laughs> <laughs> you will um let's not make this the first time yes i don't how... know where it's not planned to be but i firmly believe at this point that actanus doesn't believe she can die and will just eventually be plucked from the earth by whatever force she uh, assumes <laughs> will Mr. take care DM. of that. Hello. So we know there's that one room with everyone's hourglasses that sure. I've been in and mm -hmm. had access to. You looked to. at ours? Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's that fucked, would up. Be fucked up. Uh, would that's I have got in up. trouble for taking a peek? You sneaky fucker. Would you have gotten in trouble? Um, get detention. <laughs> well, not necessarily in trouble. Like, obviously not meddled with, but... But, like, it's... You'll have gotten a talking to of, like, uh... If that was your first time experiencing that room, you would probably gotten, gotten a talking to, like, yeah, you know, got, they got the rundown. And how we... important it is for no one to actually know how much time they have left. And that, Your punishment yeah. would just be no. the curse you know, of knowing. Don't, you know don't the meddle with a timeline because wonky yeah, shit happens. Yeah, no, absolutely. Kind of but well, yeah, it'd be, also, you it'd be your own on. punishment. Because say you saw one of them only had a little bit of time left and then you've called us all here to do this, you'd be like, oh shit, I'm the reason one of my friend's hourglasses has this much time How left. fucked like, up would Nicole's oh. hourglass be, though? Oh, uh, well, no. The, the, <laughs> the, whole thing is, the, the whole thing is the Raven Queen is all about upside down. people dying when it's their when it's their time if it wasn't your character's time to die say in the battle that's coming even if they do die the hourglass would not have represented that because that would have not been their proper time you know what i mean you know what i'm trying to say oh then everyone has right. a set time to die that can be affected by modifiers yes but the hourglass only only counts down to their set time to die yes but what i'm really so, so so like, like, like being murdered is like meddling in that. Uh, That's not, not always. Unless you are meant to be murdered. Yeah, like it's, dude. It's the whole like God's plan in bullshit. Mysterious ways. Yeah. God's plan. God's plan. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait for Brian just to randomly just say to, to fucking like tell us just been like forty eight years, twenty seven days. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like what? No nothing. Room. I mean, no. Three hours, it's, two minutes, and seventeen it's, seconds. The Bran has 16, absolutely 50, looked. 40. 14. Bran won't tell any of you. I just wanted to know if Bran had looked, because oh. I think Bran would have. Yeah. If you don't tell us, you're not a real friend. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I would not want to know. Don't worry, it's not all that big of a fucking punishment, not being a real friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine, right, if you don't want to use then our yeah. hands to open up the door, I will take out Fenthris, oh. and I will just fucking shoot it. <laughs> open. I, sta I stand by stuff. my original statement. 
When that tennis says, I haven't died yet, Bran just goes, you will. All right, uh, you take out the bow and fire yeah. a shot at the door, and the door yep. just kind of like crumbles and just... <laughs> And revealing behind it a portal. A portal that, oh, as you oh, look through right. it, you see um, a barren wasteland. But in that wasteland, a castle. Uh, the wasteland itself being a, almost a deep crimson color. And there are there's, 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 there's a storm going on. Like proper thunderstorm. No rain, just thunder and lightning. But the lightning is, um, is, is red like in color. Very, very chaos. upside down. Very upside down uh, in vibe. Limbo. With my experience of plane shifting and looking into other planes, would I potentially know what plane of existence? Make an intelligence check um, for those uh, with religion among among us. Uh, make a religion check. As a permission, oh, not Arcana. I, I, I don't. I don't Arcana. Know yeah, sure. Arcana. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Arcana. Hell yeah, bro. That's a Nah. What about uh, athletics? No. That's a 29. I, <laughs> I only rolled a 10. Alright, fuck off. Uh, 31 for Gen. 29 for Morwen. 29. Uh, 21 for Bran. 21 for Bran. I only Just got having a 10, plus 11 to so miss that. Okay. Uh, yeah, Shim, you're not sure. Um, the rest of you, knowing that Hor is an ex-arch of Bane, um, <laughs> that the plane beyond this portal is most likely going to be Banehold. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Knows Gen what has. it is, but never heard of it. Gen no, Gen has. Duke is going to do some Googling, though. <laughs> Oh, is, this something Bran would have, is this something that Bran would have studied, or would he just know the name? He just know the it name. It's like, it's right up Bran's fucking alley. Out of character, yeah. I know about it, because I appropriated this god for a one-shot I ran ages ago. Yeah, it's just it's just the, the home plane of... Love... You know that this is the, the plane that Bane calls home, and... Uh, I love this detail. The plane, the plane. <laughs> there's no water to be found anywhere on the plane. In brackets, except the River of Blood, obviously. <laughs> obviously, yeah. that's, not, that's blood not water. <laughs> it's 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 Bane's home plane, a, a plane he kind of created to be to be his own uh, domain. Domain, yeah, and his ex and demigods also. His shut up. His ex and demigods yeah. live there as well and have their own homes there. Um, the whore being one of them. Yeah, that's pretty much Yo, it. We're going that's to Whore's house. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go fishing in the Blood River. Mm. So, with that knowledge in mind, what do you guys do? Somewhere. I guess we walk through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to it. Let's push Bran out front. Yep. <laughs> and as you walk Warren through, pushes more and just cower behind. Uh, you emerge in a large barren <laughs> wasteland. The floor is made of, of like blackened rock and the sky lit up by a red thunderstorm. In front of you stands a fortress, uh, with in front of it a statue of a tall, dark and gaunt man wearing gold bracers and upper class clothing. Uh, jet black eyes and, har and, da and dark hair uh, shaped into long, ringleted strands and a pointed goatee. This is your cue, Ren. I don't necessarily know where we go from here. Maybe call out, say, you know, with a little jibe at him, call, call him a bitch or something. Or put him in a cool. Yeah. No, cool's the bully, not the bitch, remember? <gasps> is there anything Sorry. of importance we can see? A door. Like. Okay. It's a fortress with a statue out front, but it has a door. <laughs> How many uh, hinges on <laughs> no this door? Way. Uh, you do re you do notice one How interesting detail about it is that the the structure has no windows, like at all. I Ooh. wouldn't have windows either if I lived in this fucking place. So do we <laughs> knock or do we kick the door down? I can't uh, kick the door down. To you. <laughs> How big so do we it? knock? <laughs> okay, uh, make a strength check, Katanas. She just Kool Aid oh, Man yeah. through the door. Goes well, straight through the door. It's a player character that has strength. I'm so excited. That's Plus a 30. A 30. 
You kick the door off its hinges, and beyond it, it reveals a large rectangular room with, uh, when you look up, you notice that instead of a ceiling, there is just more of these clouds with the red lightning just crackling and echoing throughout the chamber. You see at the far end, you see that this, the, the chamber has some, some like rock pillars going from uh, the, the floor all the way into nothingness that is that like sky of clouds above you. Uh, with some with an altar at the far end of the room and you also see at the far end of the room uh, a man wearing similar plate armor uh, to uh, Bran the same pale skin uh, a bald head instead of having hair and uh, the same like, bright blue eyes could have just opened it normally you know Boring. What do you guys do? Just sort of walk in. Uh, how tall was the ceiling? Uh, I mean, you don't know. Fuck. There's clouds. How high up are the clouds? High up are the clouds, yeah, that's like six, 60 feet up. Oh, okay. Welcome. Aberan. It's a long time coming, isn't it? There were easier ways to get my attention. Yeah, well, this is more fun. It's almost insulting you only address Averan. I mean, there are... I figured you would come, all of you. So uh, I invited some friends of my own, and he starts channeling a spell. Or not even channeling a spell. He just kind of says a few words, and you see you raising from the ground are six... No, he doesn't. It's... Counter spell. Counter spell. It's no, spell. That's, that's yeah. why I don't no, rephrase this like, fucking uh, I, I rephrased. And these <laughs> six... <laughs> six more... What you assume to be Death Walkers just kind of like rise from the ground, plate mail, pale pale skin, blue eyes. I invited some friends of my own, you know. Are you friends? Out a bit. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> God's sake. Right. I take it there's to be no discussion then. No. So I, you you got me killed. Didn't really finish the job. I tried to kill you, didn't really finish the job. So I'm just here to finish it. Whether you die or I die, I don't give a shit. Are they in a line? No. And he just kinda <laughs> he just kinda he just kinda takes out his like he has a he's wielding a, a jet black weapon similar to uh to to, to agony in, in aesthetic. If he draws his weapon, I'm gonna summon sticks. Alright. Can I uh, I, I would guess... like you all to roll initiative. Okay. All right. I got advantage. All right. Advantage, and I get plus zero, which is the I have dex! I have dex! <laughs> I have initiative, guys! I don't have shit for initiative, so I rolled roll great! Shit. Hold I on, mean, let me quickly I mean, so could figure out my I life mean, here. I mean, so can uh, quite the opposite, I have no dex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, baby! If there was I'm ever more the plus eight initiative now, boys! If there was ever a session for it. I rolled a two. One. Oh no. I rolled pretty roll okay for me, to be honest. I rolled you know? awful for well, probably what everyone else is going to be. So just to guy, so you guys uh, know, Ooh, man on the altar is uh, Peter, and these six are are the the, the, the yeah, Death yeah, Walkers, yeah. Death Knights yeah. that he uh, that he summoned. They outnumber us. Oh, That's dude, bitch dude. ass. <clears throat> Bro, I'm worth like seven oh, we're people. Better. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, hold on nope. a minute. Nope. Let me just do some fucking initiative rolls for these guys. As well. no. I love the idea that like five of them are decked out in all black and one of them's just wearing pink. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> them I mean, there's no set like uniform for Death Knights. I mean, they're all wearing they're just the just the the you know you all kind of like by default get that like blackened plates kind of you know because your armor changed when you turn into one and that that same process happened to these guys. Give me a second, because I have seven fucking enemies to roll shit for, so this is gonna be a bit hold. Uh, boom. Feels so good to be going high in initiative, dude. <laughs> I mean, the fact you rolled a positive number is even a nice change. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine. Honestly, it's... What I that it's the best I could have rolled, so I'm chilling. I'm happy. I'm big billing. Yep. Ethan, yeah. mm -hmm. what's your constitution modifier out of curiosity? Negative five. 
Why the fuck is someone in my group asking what my con mod is? <laughs> I, I'm asking. Um, she wants to kill you. She's yeah, a hired assassin. Three. Okay. Trim has now become an assassin. Who are your yeah, Trim, Trim straight up, like... Just gonna okay. Initiative is 20 plus. 28 with the natural 20. Uh, 21, not 28. <laughs> So would you say that Morwen goes first then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, let's say that Morwen goes first. <laughs> I'm uh, so happy. Don't worry, I'll be last next week. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta save it while I can. Okay. Um, 15 to 20? 17. What's your dex, I promise? Uh, hold on. Plus two. Two, okay. Anyone else? 15 to 20? Okay. Uh, 10 to 15? I got 11. 11. Hey! Nicole probably has... goes first. Oh, hell no, I got plus zero to dex. Oh, then I have plus two, so I go first then. So 11 for trim, 11 for... Uh... Again? Oh, it's 23. Oh, you were 23? I didn't hear that. My bad. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's everyone, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Did I... Oh, I forget. Did I name your fucking player tokens? I did! Look at that. Whoa! Boy. Uh, boom. Turn-based mode. Uh... Ah. Uh... Blah, 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 blah. More win. Yo, I look pog. Man. <gasps> I gotta fucking figure out who. Uh, oh shit, do I wanna kill Fiel in this fight? Who? Hawk. That's my favorite uh, movie. Kill Fiel. <laughs> Volume 2. Fiel. A lot of, lot of fate picks in that movie. Bitch. Uh. That one. Again? Just in thin quantities. It's just this one. I think again. Good night, Her feet nose. Tino and Tino. Uh, Just put them lower on the initiative. I'm just... Shut up. You last. Uh, boom. Boom. Bitch. Trim. She's so small. <laughs> She's halfling, me. <laughs> it's so small. Oh. Uh... <laughs> She doesn't even fill up the box. So funny. Even for a halfling. <laughs> she I'm doesn't small. even fill up the box. <laughs> you think they'd zoom it in? <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, literally, she's a halfling. She's, she's, she's just smaller. <laughs> Not only am I a halfling, I'm two foot fucking six, guys. Remember? Alrighty. She's literally Ooh. an ankle biter. So initiative yeah. has begun. And Morvan, you can go first. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, we're going to start this Forget off it. cool because I'm dope <laughs> as shit. Ooh. And I have so many spells, I gotta use some of them, you know? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use my turn to... My action is going to cast Sunburst at the back wall, because it has a 60-foot radius, and otherwise it would hit us. Uh, what's the range on that? Uh, 150 feet. Okay, yeah, so you It'll reach. just cast and Sunburst. I should be able to get all of them. Um, I need a D, uh, constitution <laughs> saving throw from all of them. Yeah, so 60 will get to, like, here. I need 12 d6s. Hold up. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah, you're good. I am looking for my dice too. It's okay. 12 d6. Man. What's the save on that? Uh, 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 constitution. Con? Yeah. 27 fucking con saves. Got it. That slot off. Oh my goodness. Um... 25 saves 27 saves 23 saves Na uh, dirty 20 doesn't save okay Natural anything 20? under 21 anything under 21 okay so three death knights fail to save uh the rest of them including peter orson make the save all right so i take half damage the ones who did fail um mm -hmm. are considered blinded for a minute by the way. They're not. 
Oh. They are well, immune to blindness. They cannot be blind. Um, are these guys considered undead? Uh, yes. Well... Then they have disadvantage on the save. In the same capacity that Bran is technically... Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. For the sake of the combat, yeah, yeah. they're considered undead. And they would have disadvantage monsters. on the save. So they, they, they need to roll second dice for each of them. Sorry. Wait, is, I, uh, this, is this a spell? Yes. Well, they have advantage uh, on any saves they need to make against spells, so that counts okay, each so other out. Fine, so there you go. All right, math time. Well. Oh my god, this is disgusting. One, one. I you do 12 points I enough dice for this. Oh. Never more have I felt more smug to have just a massive bag of dust <laughs> than having to be like, roll 12D. Never more. Well, I got my. Uh, that's 58 damage to the ones that didn't save. Okay. The ones that did, that's. 29. 58 and 29. And it is radiant damage if that matters. Uh, it doesn't. Okay. Let's see, Just hold on. I thought, I would, thought I would say if it did. Uh, 29 for those that didn't. Uh, this, what is math? Boom. 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 Okay. Anything else Morum would like to do? Uh, I think that's all I can do. So let's, I'll, I'll actually. I would like to move fifteen feet to the left. Five, ten, fifteen. Boom. Uh, one more. Sorry, I'll do twenty. So like right in front of this pillar. Yeah. Okay. Is that Morum's turn completely done? It is. It is. Bran. I am going to mount up onto sticks. Okay. Um, On horse. So I have 60 foot of movement. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to move to next to trim. 5, 10, 15. I'm going to have to reach real fucking far down. <laughs> uh. Yes! Excuse me. If you're going to pull trim onto your horse, we'll say that that will take up your action. I'm, if that's all right. I'm not going to pull trim onto oh. my horse. Oh, that would have been dope! Oh, I thought that was what you were going for. <laughs> no. Okay, carry on. Uh, carry on, I, carry I, on. I just need to be in touch range, but I'm on a horse. Oh, okay. And she's two foot six. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to <laughs> lean all the way down. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to touch the top of Trim's head and cast Death Ward. Okay. And then. Uh, you used 15 feet to get there. I'm gonna move the rest forward, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to sheath agony in blood and activate deadly strike. 35, 40, 45, we'll get you here. You have 60 foot total, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, we'll get, we'll get you there. I could, in theory, get off the horse and move another 15, but fuck that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna activate deadly strike, so agony becomes covered in blood. Hell yeah. And looks horrifying, like some like horror film shit. Mm -hmm. And nice. I'm gonna fuck shit up. Kidoki. If that is your turn, then we'll go to Death Knight number six. He's uh, a pussy fan. Let's see how much movement do they get? Just a thirty. Uh, bum. -bu -bu I thought this fight just us running towards each other. Yeah. Okay. It's going to which one was it? This one? Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five to get to you, friend. Yep. Uh-huh. And is going to make three swings with his long sword. Okay. Pussio. One is a 22 to hit. Uh, yeah. One is a 22 to hit. A little same thing. Yeah. Hey. And one is a dirty 20 to hit. No. Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, on the first hit, he does decide to uh, use a bonus action to cast Staggering Smite. Oh, suck my cunt. Uh, which just means that uh, you're going to take some extra damage in the form of psychic damage. Okay. Uh, um, hold on. Give me a sec. 
doing some uh Damage type super important for Bran. Yeah, you're. What are you against necrotic damage again? You're immune at this point, right? Uh, so I am resistant to radiant. Mm -hmm. I am resistant to fire. I, I asked necrotic I'm, specifically though. Uh, I'm going through the list because I'm trying to find it because there's yeah, okay. a lot. Jesus um, Christ! How many do you have? Do, 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 a lot. I have like four, and they're still all visible at the top of my sheet, really easily. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not using a D and D Beyond sheet. Doesn't have D and D Beyond, do? Oh, true, true, true. Custom class, boys. Custom class. Where is it? Uh, I'll trim by your seven immunities. Huh? I am looking at the immunities. It's just a lot of shit on my sheet. A lot of shit on your sheet. There really is. <laughs> I hurt my shell. <laughs> no, I think I'm just resistant. Just resistant? Product. All right. So you take a uh, total of uh, 16 slashing damage. Mm-hmm. And... And then 9... Uh, 13, 19... And 26, so half... 13 necrotic damage. Okay. And then because of the staggering smite, you also take nine, 13 points of psychic damage. Uh, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, 21. 21, let me quickly see what the DC is. Yeah, that, that, that makes the, you make the save. So yeah, this, this, this first, Death Walker, Death Knight, whatever you want to call them. Um, you don't know whether these are specifically the same thing you are, but they, they do look very, very similar. Um, walks up to you and just with a sword, just swings at you twice and then goes in for a third one, but you managed to kind of, as you kind of like flinch from the just piercing headache that you get after one of his swings, you kind of move unnaturally that he doesn't predict and the swing just like goes right past your head. All right. Okay. That is its turn. Again. As combat breaks out again with his harp, Anstruth harp strums a few. Wait, yeah, should be fine. Strums a few captivating chords and gently rises a couple of feet off the ground. His oh. blue eyes brightly like light up this half of the room as flowing purple robes and decorated with blue suddenly drape over him and he rises up into the air and he fucking lets out this inspiring speech <laughs> heroes of exile rally forth and we shall not be bested by this treacherous knave <laughs> and you all get 14 temporary hit points Ooh. and if you like can move your full movement with your reaction. Oh, uh, so we can just use our reaction feet. now to move. Yeah, you can just use your reaction to move without like... provoking opportunity attacks. You can use your reaction to move your full movement. Uh... Does that also count for sticks? Because technically, I'm I not mean, using I, my if sticks is a creature. I can give him temporary HP and allow him to move. Yeah. Fourteen. Okay. Did you say? I mean, sticks yeah. has his own movement, but technically, like, <sighs> mountain combat's weird. I would like to I'll use allow the movement. It. I'll, I'll allow it sticks to be affected it, as well. It's going to cost my reaction, though, not his. Yeah, right? it will cost your reaction to do yeah. to, you, to use it, but I'll allow because... sticks to be able mm. to move. If you I'd use like to use, use my full movement to get right behind Aberan. What's your full movement get... again? Is it, you're still 20, 30? 25, 25. 25 feet. I think I can still make it 10, barely. 15, 20, 25, no. The square. Oh, that's it, two this, uh, okay. Yeah, one big that's square fine. is two. I'll go there. I'll use it. I'll okay. do that. Anyone else want to quickly do use Do I have to use my reaction now to move? Is that the text? I mean, yeah. Just, okay. yeah. When, you're reacting when it to happens, the speech. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah, but you're going to get it back on your turn, so... That's true. Yeah, no, but it was more like, how oh, fucking move up before I can rage. <laughs> how far away are those guys from most of us? Where we started? Uh, are they like 60? About the closest 60. one is, at this point, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, like 35 feet away from, from Octanus. And okay. then I want to move my whole movement. Right. I wanted to make sure I was just within range to do things. Okay. What's your full movement again, Iktanis? 40. 
So you can get to here if you want, like beside the uh, baddie, or like That's one step life. further even if you wanted to, like here. Uh, one step further, yeah. There. Yeah. Can I okay. go up and sort of up and right to a, towards where that pillar is? That's like on the same level as Brad. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What's your movement again? Forty. Do you want to go like here? Yeah. It's literally just one use of bardic inspiration. That's insane. All that. Anyone else what level do you get that? To move? What level do you get that ability? It's the basic ability for glamour. It's nutty. Does is it from move anywhere? <laughs> no, I'm we'll good. Touch us. Well, think, trim moved. Tana's moved. Does Bran want to move? No, I changed my mind. I'm staying there. Okay. Uh, all right. Again, continue. Okay. Um. How with my action? Oh. Only a bonus action. Fucking Christ! <laughs> Damn. You um, can't complain, Quaiba. The dome's an action. <laughs> I want to Don't cast the spells. Rolathim's psychic lance Ooh. at the man in melee with uh, Amaran. So okay. Um, mm -mm, I unleash a shimmering lance of psychic power from my forehead. Uh, do, 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 do. The target must make an intelligence saving throw. Intelligence. Ooh. Don't oh, think that was Oh, you bastard. <laughs> uh, that rolled from a fucking 16 to a 6, so 7. Alright. He takes 7d6 psychic damage. What's that number 6? Let me see. I'll wait to find out that all of these are. have legendary resistances. Oh my god, yeah. where are all my d6s? Oh, oh my god, insert that old clip of Duke freaking out by legendary resistances. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tell me about it, Brad! <laughs> right, 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 right. right, right. The choir, dude. I'm gonna find it now. I'm gonna Reach into the head. converted baby. We're all Scientologists over here. This well, is awful I'm gonna so find it. Quah! Me Actually, whenever I drop a dice right? in my room. 16. I mean, I found 21 oh, no, points of psychic damage. 21 points of psychic damage. Right. And is incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Okay. Damn. Damn That's my good. boy a bitch. Until the start of your next turn? Yes. Basically, he friend. skips a turn. Okay. Very cool. Anything else you'd like Forget to do? Get mind lasered, idiot. <laughs> Literally. Is that your turn? Do you want to move at all? Uh, yeah. Get brain boofed. So you're not moving? Again, it's just staying put? Uh, I'll move forward uh, 15 feet. Yep. Yep. All right. This here Death Knight has seen Nicole approaching and is going to close That's the gap. Nah, and he's going to... Yeah. Wait. Hold. Hold! I think the clip of Duke oh, being upset it was before we started streaming on Dungeon Select because it's not in the Dungeon Select clips. The only clip yeah, of Duke it's from being your upset. Channel. Yeah, the it's only clip of Duke mind. being real upset is the Duke being salty when we did the Doom one shot because we all left him to die. That's true, you did. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they were like demons. Koibs or Nicole, uh, yeah. this guy just pulls out his uh, long sword, uh, two hands it, and just goes in for three swings. Right. Uh, why is Nicole in relation to me? Yeah. Right here. Isn't it cool the purple cloak one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, first attack, second attack, third attack, boom, boom, boom. Uh, the boom, lowest boom, would be boom, a boom. twenty-one to hit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> My boy doesn't have AC. My yeah. boy. These guys are strong. I wish. I wish I didn't. <laughs> I wish I. I wish I uh. You know, rolled high on my initiative so I could be raging right now. Uh, Why'd you move up, idiot? For the lols? Uh, you take uh, 32 points of slashing damage. Yeah. Ooh. And? That's a lot. That's, That's a big bad. lot. Well, He's also on 14. one of them, because I can just announce that on hit, is going yeah. to pump in a staggering smite. Yep. Oh! But before we do that, you also take... Thirty-eight points of necrotic damage. No, he doesn't. Does he not? He's within sixty feet of me, so that we take true. half that. So After what did I say? What did I say? Thirty-two. Thirty-eight. Just Thirty-eight. So nineteen. Yeah. So nineteen, 19 points of necrotic damage then. Jesus. What the fuck? And then ten points of psychic damage from the smite as well. Can't do fuck all about that. Sorry, bud. <laughs> You're on your own there. I saved you. <laughs> nineteen. Neither can barbarians, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Do I have to make a save for the staggering smite? Uh, oh, true, you do actually. Sorry, that's my bad. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't get a save. Yeah, oh, no, I did, to stop, to not be fucking staggered. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, let me fucking whip out the staggering smite <laughs> spell. Uh, the, 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 the wisdom saving throw, yeah. Oh, oh he's saving. great at these. Barbarians and wisdom, iconic duo. Mm -hmm. Can you use a point of luck? Oh, the classic! <laughs> he's right. burning luck already! I got oh, three of the fucking yeah. things, I might as well try and get a... And you're gonna roll number. worse on true, the second true. one. I didn't, I rolled so much better. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a 30-20. 30-20, you make the save. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. Do I still take the full damage? Yes. Cringe. The save has nothing to do with the damage you take. Yeah, the no, save has something to do with something else. Cringe. <laughs> All right. Fucking cringe. cringe. That's going to be this death knight's turn. Octanus. Okay, I would like to rage. Yeah. Uh, I'll... <laughs> oh my god, I just remember to rage I'm... before attacking? What the fuck? Whoa, is... oh, what the fuck? Is it, That's weird. It's almost like she's nowhere I'm... near as medicated. Yeah. And I'm gonna go for forward to meet the guy in front of me in melee. Okay. Uh, and attack twice with hysteria. Go on. Oh, I didn't know it sounds like Muse. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That is quick math. Uh, twenty for the first one. Just hits. Oh, and twenty-two for the second. It's chop chop. Oh god. Damn, no Milo. No. Oh. Different axe. Oh shit, that is a different axe. Oh, oh, shit, different axe. oh yeah. fuck. Yeah. Okay, so first is max damage, which is shit. <laughs> Nineteen. Lot. Yeah, 19 plus 4, so 23. Okay. And then uh, 16, uh, 20. Very good. Anything else? No. Okay, okay. Death Knight numero dos. He's going to do something a little different going to use his action to use his ability called Hellfire Orb. Oh. And you can see that uh -oh. he just hurls this magical ball of fire I don't like it. into the direction of um, Gen and Trim. No! And it just kind of like, it just explodes like right in the middle of you two. Uh, I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, uh, no. Okay, that's not bad. 16. Okay. Nine. Uh -oh. You both fail the save. Oh. And this fire, it doesn't just look like fire. There's some like no, black, uh, uh, like black sticky, gross looking magic kind of in the mix, in the mix there as well. Napalm. Yes. <laughs> Necrotic napalm. My boy been melting down polystyrene with acetone. Watch out, you're gonna watch this now. Yeah. We're all on a watch list. Okay. Let's, let's, just, let's, just not zoom in. let's just not zoom in on it and just move on. Thoughts, guys? Um, nine. No. It'll be halved because we're 20, within 60 20, feet of Aberin. 22. If it's necrotic. If it's necrotic, yeah. If it's fire, you're just fucked. I'm fine if it's fire. 33. Firstly, you take 34 I... points of fire damage. Okay, that's halved for me because of my... Mm -hmm. Staff of Fire. So that would be 17 nice. then. Okay. And then secondly, you also take... 22, 26, 30, 36, 38, 39 points of necrotic damage. But that's half that's because half you're within 6 feet of Bran. So that would make it... 19? Uh, 19. 19 points of necrotic damage, yes. As this, just this big ball Ouchie. of blackened fire just explodes right b beside you two and just engulfs you in a sea of flames and necrotic energy. In a fight where everyone does necrotic, the amount of damage I mitigate is insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a balance, right? He because like, they do a lot of damage without the necrotic stuff. It's just their damage output is definitely hindered because of you. Yeah. Uh, and now... I'm get targeted. Man like Peter. In the fight where you're the main target. Is going to hop off away. the pedestal and close the gap. Does he to... have to roll to see if he breaks his ankle? No. 
It's only a five foot drop, man. Like, <laughs> next My level. stepdad broke his wrist falling off the second step of a ladder. He sat flies off your shoulder man. and carries it. My dad broke his ankle stepping off a curb. So My dad laughed. <laughs> Okay, nice. guys. <laughs> my parents are both still happily together, and they love me very much. Oh, mine. Um, Woo! Yeah, have parents. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we said Jesus Christ. Man, I remember when we played Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, same. <laughs> What's he gonna do, Dutch? Come on. Um, let me fucking whip out the Death Walker document real quick, bro. He's gonna take his dick out and slap you. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Even you don't know the class you made by heart. Mm-hmm. That is exactly what I mean. Almost like he's running the entire rest of the game and has a whole world and BC's like, yeah, at the same 40 time. 40 tabs open right now. Bora, <laughs> he's the enemy right now. Everyone knows D&D is DM versus players. Oh, true. Good point. That makes me scared. I don't like it. <laughs> when our DM uh... cut up, oh, we would never kill our characters after a campaign. That's the best time to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Laura. Don't help him. If he does it in campaign, like a team. If he does it, he's bad DM. That's how it works. Bro, imagine losing two characters and almost losing a third. Yeah, to the end and Brandon Imagine losing your third after fucking... the campaign's over. How could you imagine? We get to the TPK and Brennan announces that everyone's fucking hourglass is about to run out today. Yeah, he's like, I knew that. He takes so. out he takes out his uh his like jet black obsidian blade and just swings at you three times, Bren. Start. Oh. Uh, I would say he, he was flanking, but not anymore because the guy's incapacitated, so he just rolls straight. I got fucking mind lasered. 29 to hit on the first one? Yeah, you don't have to ask. 27 on the second one? <laughs> and What's your... 22 on the third one. What's your yeah. normal EC? 21. Okay. Numbers down. 21. I got you, Bubba. My guy. I'm here for So you, you take. I love you. <laughs> 29 points of slashing damage. Oh. Shut up. Ow. And. Fuck up, Bill. Um. That's my temp HP gone. Unfortunate. You also. Uh. I mean, yeah, I guess you're just gonna take half because you're uh, resistant. But yeah, you do say you do take some necrotic damage as well. One, two, three, four, five. 10, 16, 18, 20. So ten points of necrotic damage as well. Oh. Ow. Uh, and as a bonus action, he's gonna apologize. Yes. You have to apologize. Um, <laughs> My kids can't hear you because they're listening to kids' bow. Shut up. <laughs> oh, we're losing our minds. Please mind. shut up. Whoa! This combat takes back you. everything nice he said at the beginning of the show. My smosh pit. Uh, actually, as a bonus action, he's not going to do anything right away. So that's, that's okay. going to be his turn for now. Uh, oh. trim. Okay. Um, I'm gonna close the distance between me and Aberan and just be behind him. So just in a straight line. Yeah. He's body blocking me from the baddies right now. Mm -hmm. Um, um, turn the favor and reach out and just put my hand on, uh, his, I guess the back of his, like, forget. Are you still on your horse right now? Yeah. He's on his horse, yeah. I'm on okay, stick. I'm gonna, like I'm my gonna, leg. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna levitate up with the ring so I can just and just barely touch your foot. Like, I just jump really high and hit the, your foot in the stirrup. And I'm gonna tap you and cast. Where did it go? Hold on. Um, Wish and make shield of faith. No, shield of faith. Okay. So you get plus two to your AC as long as I can maintain concentration. Big pog. Okay. Um, it's only a force level spell. That makes me happy. Uh, and then. That was a bonus that. action. Mm -hmm. And so for my action, once I hit land back on the ground, I will... Ah, oh, I forgot. I was gonna do... That guy moved and it changed... It changed... Changed everything. Some shit. Um, okay. Good characters, guys. So after I jump up, you know what? 
I want to do a thing, but I'm like, is she gotten brave enough that she would not use Aberian as a shield and walk forward and be visible? I don't know. Use him as a shield. Know. I don't know. How, 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 has the year with Actanus toughened her up a little bit? I don't to know. be fair, you have just watched two of them walk forward and slash me six times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Hence the shield of faith. Um... <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, I'll, so then I'm going to just move like diagonal five feet because I need to be within five feet. Left or right? Of, right. So I'm like kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I will, um, as I'm still like jumping down, just start glowing with a combination of like a golden radiant light, but there's also almost like a green like secondary glow within it. So it's like a both like Melora and like radiant healing magic kind of like mixture this mm -hmm. aura and just kind of make do my best impression of an Actanus battle cry as the energy just kind of like bursts forward and I will cast a uh, word of radiance and he has to make a constitution save. What's the word? So you, you can't cast two spells in a turn. I can because it's a cantrip. One's a cantrip. It's a cantrip? Word of Radiance is a cantrip. So if they oh, if they make the save, they'll take nothing. So. Wild. Uh, what's the what was it? Con. Uh, Constitution save. Yes. Seventeen. Yeah. Oh, you rolled a seventeen. Yeah. Fail. Oh. My save is a nineteen. There you go. So, the spell increases because it's a. I can only cast. I'm o I'm only a sixth level cleric, so it would be as if I'm a fifth level because it's a cantrip and it increases again at fifth level. Mm -hmm. I don't get to use the twelfth, the eleventh no. level damage because no, I'm only. I think... No, I think it's, it's character, character level. level. It's character yeah, level. Yeah, that's character level, yeah. not character class level. level. Oh, then I get. So you still would get max damage for it. Yeah. I get three d six, baby. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, for the cantrips, it's uh, it's character oh. level, not class level. For cantrips, just really yeah. nice. <laughs> If it just says level, it means character. If it specifies class level or level in class, appropriate level. In I could have just rolled one fucking d6. Hey! It matter. <laughs> How many it's did you roll? roll? I, I rolled three d6 for a total of five damage. Two, two, and one. On Woo! The d6. Let's go! Hey, I think the game uh, might be telling you something. Every little bit counts, uh, Laura. Little, so it's like trying killed. to musters up all the courage she can and it's like the big battle cry but then it kind of peters out a bit at the end because she's yeah, still and you like, can see ah, you can see really like <laughs> peter he just kind of like looks at you for a little bit and you can see him it's radiant just, damage if kind of, you see him kind of just like, like twitch it. almost as if he has like a little bit of a headache and then his focus is just in laying into bran like you can see he's almost frothing at the mouth you can see this his eyes are wide open the blue glint from the eyes bright as ever that's that's his he's hyper focused on that right now I don't I think, think it's radiant is extra brand for some reason. Because they're like brown. That's my turn. They're not undead and dead like skeletons. Nicole! Oh, hell yeah, I get a turn. Bonus action range. Yeah, you do. Oh. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, you remember. He's done it. Um, And then I will move one step closer to fucking Peter. Okay. <clears throat> get right, right behind him. Um, Am I flanking with yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. I fucking take out Brutality and I'm just gonna fucking swing on this man. Go on, me. Fuck them up. Uh, that is 28 to hit? Yes. And then I'll just do both attacks, because both attacks can go on him. And... That's a natural motherfucking 20. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yeah. so I will, I will now God. do this damage separate, because on the natural 20, I'll be smiting. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Paladin's a meta game confirmed. You can smite after you crit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, so the first one is like gonna be fucking no damage at all because I haven't got my thorn out because fucking I'm at the cost of action. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh... Okay, now what is maths? Bad. What was maths, mate? Ew, fuck his mask, dickhead. Uh, that is 15 points of damage on the first one. 15? Okay. Yeah, 15 bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, alright. Magical then... bludgeoning, I assume, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's with brutality. And then... How many D8s do I get for smite? Have we said they are undead for sake of combat? Uh, Peter isn't. The rest of them are. 
So Peter oh. is kind of like Bran, not really. These other ones, the, the guys that he summoned, right, uh, are class undead. Okay, so it's only 2d8 that I get for the smite, not 3 on Peter. Just the 4. Just the four. Uh, for 48 points of damage. 48 points of damage? Holy fuck. Do you need the region <laughs> different? Uh, no. no. Okay. Hi. Um, Wait. Nicole. Hello. He's gonna use a reaction. Okay. Uh oh. As you, as you strike him, he turns his back to, to Abran, looks at you. Uh -oh. Mind your business. And he's going to Ooh. use an ability called Revenge. Oh, good. Uh, you... Oh. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Of course. Is, is this he casting considered a spell? An... No. Is okay. it considered an attack? No. Fuck. It's like an ability or something. Uh, wisdom saving throw? Correct. I mean, I'm going to use another point of luck. Okay. Wrong so shit these first ones. Mm hmm. World was. Damn. Six. Isn't like a spell or Six? something. Six? Yeah. You all look as Nicole. Disappears. No! Nicole, mm -hmm. you got sent to <gasps> the plane of undeath. <gasps> you are stuck there uh, because you failed the save and you take the whole ordeal, just like gives you just crippling headaches. No. Oh. Uh, Goodbye. We'll take another combat oh, again. God. <laughs> it's Zemo. That kept happening to him before. Yeah. You take 40 yeah, damage, four damage, four damage four points of psychic damage. Of course it's fucking psychic damage. Cool. Um, so many. But you are now stuck in this plane. Um, it's... The way it works is... At the start of your next turn, you can try and just kind of break free from this crippling headache that you have, and that will also help you to, to get out of there. But right now, you're not in the room, you're gone, and you have a mad fucking headache. Cool. Okay. So we you just all watched just, Houdini, the homie. You all just looked as, as Peter turned around after getting <sighs> completely fucking walloped by Nicole, and he just like... Waved, waved at him, and Nicole disappeared. I have a quick weird. question, a mechanical Hello. question. Um, because like I have a concentration spell up right now. I have Shield of Faith. Mm -hmm. If I used an like an a, a item I have that uses like charges to cast spells, not spell slots and stuff, but it's also like the effects are the same as a, a, it's a concentration spell normally. I still can't do it, right? It's still only allowed to have one up at a time, even though I'm not technically casting it the same way I cast another spell. Wait, what do you I'm mean? Doing it through an mean? item. Yeah, it but depends you're still, on the wording you're still of the spell. item. The okay. item allows you to cast the spell. Yeah, so like it'll it'll you'll still right, you're still casting the spell. You can't concentrate on two spells at once. No yeah, exactly. Okay. Just make yeah. I thought so. Yeah. I was just seeing if there was a loophole because one was using a charge <laughs> rather than a spell slot. And uh, okay, would be nice. Darn it. It's still casting. You're still the one casting it. Just the item gives you the yeah, ability. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So that uh, is your turn, Nicole. Um, Fine by me. I'm I'm taking a bit damage. I'm on in the hellscape. Vacation. Woo. This death knight Who's is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 30. He's going to move here to be perfectly flanking. Do it. With to his lose homie. A second down. And he's going to just swing at you uh, three times with his blade, two handed. Go for it, baby. Uh, with advantage. That one's cat. Uh, 17 to hit on the first one. That just hits. Okay. Second one is pff, way more. Uh, 27. Yeah, that hits. Third one is a 23. Yeah. They all hit. Third. Oh, oh fuck. Bugger. This is getting a bit intense. No, I just a little... This is a little spicy. 
God, you can tell I've not played a barbarian fight. I've got my fucking brutal critical. Oh, well. oh shit. Oh. Yeah. It's the new version of the cloak. Um, you need, you need yeah, something to forget yeah. about. So. Yeah, you take uh, 20, points of, often. 20 points of slashing damage, Octanus. If you're raging, that would be 10. 2d8. Yeah, I'm raging, so okay, 10. So 10. You also take... Um, a fuckload of the chronic, but half because Brandon's mm -hmm. there. Okay. What's half of a fuckload? A shitload. <laughs> I always thought a shitload was more than a fuckload. No, I think a fuckload. I think give a shit ton. Oh my god, I remember. Ah. Like Idiots, this is insane. Um, exactly 60, so half to 30 points in necrotic damage. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're gonna just pump in them. They're a fucking smite as well. Fuck it, why not? You're there. So I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. I think you don't want to hear. Fuck guess. it, you're there. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm now regretting doing Shield of Faith instead of Beacon of Hope for all these wisdom saves. God damn it. How good. 15. 15, you fail the save. Uh, you take uh, the damage you would have taken regardless, but 17 points of psychic damage. And... Extra? Yes, 17 points of psychic. And okay. uh, doo -doo -doo, you have disadvantage on your uh, ability checks, attack rolls, and you cannot take reactions until the end of uh, this guy's next turn. So okay. next, your next turn, you'll have disadvantage on everything you do, and you cannot make any reactions. Uh, yeah. Unless it's saving throws. You won't have disadvantage yeah. on that. Uh, and that is this guy's turn. Number four uh, is right there with you. He was also going to attack you, Octanus. Hate to break it to you. Go for it. <laughs> uh, with advantage because he's flanking. Uh, do 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 do. Twenty-two. Uh, yeah. Uh, seventeen again, which was your AC, correct? Yep. And twenty-eight. Yep. Okay. Uh, whoever's typing, can you mute your mic? Uh, 11 points of slashing damage, halved to 5. Yeah. Also, 11, 13, 23, 25, 30, 37, 38, 45, 55, halved to 27 points of necrotic damage. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and he's also gonna. Sp I mean, I was gonna say he's not gonna spite us. Why wouldn't he? Like, mm -hmm. right? Like, let's be fucking real. So you take an extra nine, twelve, an extra twenty-one points of psychic damage. Ah. Uh, and okay. I mean, I could ask you to roll a save, but you're already under the effect that the saving throw would protect you from. So, we'll leave that yeah. for what it is. All right, number three. It's this guy over here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna close in with Abran. And uh, is flanking you and is going to also take three swings with his uh, sword. Brandy okay, point. bitch. Uh, Twenty-three to hit. Uh, no. Nice. Yes. 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 Shield of Faith is only plus two. Uh, Twenty-two to hit. No. Because I'm sure the faith did. Uh, natural 20. Yeah, it did something. Oh, yes. fuck me. Well, it stopped one of them. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, six, 16, 18 points of slashing damage. Um, one eight. One eight, yes. For the one that isn't a crit, you take eight half to four points of necrotic damage. Oh. And the one that is a crit, you take 6, 10, uh, 12, 24. So 12 points of necrotic damage. Yeah. Uh, and you're getting smitten as well on the on the natural 20, naturally. Do I not take slashing damage on the 20 as well? I already gave you that. Oh, you just gave me the total 18? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So for the smite... That is another 8, 9, 12, so 24 points of psychic damage. And I need I'm you. I'm officially bloodied. And I need you to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh, 
In... Uh, wisdom? Yes. 19. Okay, so yeah, you don't, you're, you're not uh, a victim to any of the effects of that side of things. Yeah. Alright, Morwen. Shit's popping off. Oh, dude, yeah, I know. And now it's like, what do I want to spend? You know? That's, that's the issue here. Um, I think I have to wait another turn before I use this. Why do I have so many spells? Someone... Is a wizard, Harry? Yeah, I know. That's the problem. It's too many spells. Man. And I prepared all the wrong ones. And there's a reason Jax is a half-caster, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to take a page out of Gen's old book. Um, Which one? And kind of, you just see fucking how many? Uh, seven little stars shoot out of my cloak. Yeah, let's nice. go. Surround me as I cast Whoa. Crown of Stars. Oh, shit. Okay. Plastic. Um, and I will use my bonus action to hurl one of those motherfuckers at Peter. Peter? All right. What's the range on that? Yeah. Like 300 feet. No. Uh, it's. There's no range. It can 120. Just go as, is it 120? You can use the bonus action to send one of the moats streaking towards 120 feet from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So he's with the yeah. range then. All right, yeah. Go for it. Roll an attack. That's um, an attack roll, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, pull out the, oh, excuse me. All right, Duke. It's your dice. You son of a bitch. Uh, 18? 18 just hits. Oh my god. I didn't think that would hit. Okay. Never mind, Duke. Hog dice. Uh, 4d12. Uh, not bad, not bad, I guess. 14 points of radiant damage. 14 points of radiant damage, alright. And then I will use my movement to make sure that I... I'm within... Oh yeah, never mind. I'll see where I am. Okay. Good. Ran. Tectonis is getting flanked right now. Correct. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. Bonus action blood pull on the one that's to the top right of Tectonis. Okay. We'll uh, save that's that again. a strength save, please. Natural twenty. Okay. You're a bitch. Right. Your your fucking critical role die as well. I did it, bro. Sorry. No, fuck you, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna attack on. I'm gonna smack on the boy that was brain boofed. Yeah, uh, incapacitated, right? So that gives you. I'm mounted, so I have advantage anyway. Incapacitated, I don't think gives advantage either. It wouldn't be advantage. Which means they can't do anything. Oh, whoa. Yeah, Are any of them considered huge, Dutch? Nope. Well, then I have advantage because I'm mounted. There you go. Uh, uh, Laura, you don't know how where the ceiling is. You just see those clouds with the fucking red lightning and stuff. And if there's, there might be ceiling above that. It might not be. You don't. You don't we know don't yet. know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, natural eleven, so twenty-three to hit. Yes. Uh, double thirteen, so twenty-five to hit. Hi. Double fucking 13s again. Holy shit. So 25 to hit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm crit fishing and it's not working, okay? It's fine. I probably should have got more dice out, but... <clears throat> um. Do I need to separate out necrotic damage? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, you do. So... Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. 16. So 34 points of slashing damage. Okay. Um, also, uh, this guy can make a con save for me because I damaged him with agony. And while uh, you're doing that, I'll roll necrotic damage. Con save of 14. Fourteen is a fail. Okay. He uh, has a disadvantage on strength and deck saving throws until my next turn. Okay. <coughs> um, 
I so I've hit three times. Hi. I have deadly strike up. Hi. I'm not gonna pull fifteen dice out. I'm gonna ask Google to roll it for me. That's fine. <laughs> hey Google, roll fifteen d eight. So 76. 76 necrotic halved to 38. Jesus. Why don't you uh, roll the dice and make us wait and count? Cream. Google, very useful. <laughs> because I don't have the dice out, I will get them right, out. This the one is looking time. very rough. This one is looking okay. very rough. This Good. One. Fuck that guy. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, the incapacitation. Uh, does that end? Can't do anything. No, it ends on Gen's turn. On Gen's on turn, turn, right. So he doesn't do fuck yeah. all. So Gen. Okay, so now this um, guy isn't anymore, but... Uh, uh, wait, where's Ectanus? Right here. In betwixt two, uh... Two foes. I don't love that for her. Honest, boys, I don't know if I have 15d8. <clears throat> How far is that from me? From you, that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 30, 35, 40... She's 45 feet away from you. Okay. In that case, I will move. I'll move up behind Bran. Like adjacent to him? Like attached yes. to him? Okay. And. I will. <clears throat> Assume a majestic presence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, using my bonus action. So okay. I get even more lit, basically. Nice. <laughs> um, and we'll find out what that does when we get to it. Okay. Um, Add a status that is just more lit, you know? Yeah, majestic mm. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yeah, with my action, I will... Who is who is that directly to Brand's left? Is that just another death knight? There's no death knight, yeah. Actually, what I'll do is in a 20-foot cube, that would get those three, the 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 one behind Actanus and the two beside Bran. Uh in a cube? Yeah. Uh what's the uh It's the a twenty foot cube. Twenty foot cube. Yeah, you'll be able to get uh like these two and then this one. Um <clears throat> I will uh, cast without getting your friends in it. I'll cast Nathair's Mischief. Okay. So I fill the 20 foot cube within range with Fey and Draconic Magic. Ooh, okay. And I have to roll on the mischievous surge table. Go oh, I love tables. The magical <laughs> effect I produced. love tables. Amazing. This is amazing. Let's see. Dutch. Um, Hold on. Okay. Uh, and I roll again at the start of each of my turns Ooh. until the spell ends. Okay. So for now, it is. Fun. I rolled a four. Mm -hmm. Right, that's a four. Oh. Nope, that is a one. Oh. I can't read. Okay. The smell <laughs> of apple pie fills the air. Each creature in the queue must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by me until the start of my next turn. Before you make like saving throws, pie. yes. Dutch. Uh, the death knight that's incapacitated. Mm -hmm. no, no longer incapacitated, right? Yeah. Uh, might not matter because he takes 13 points of bleed damage from agony. Oh, on his turn, yeah. Uh, yeah. Does, uh, uh, he's still, he's alive still. Bitch. Uh, so wisdom saves, you said? Yes, three wisdom saves. But they can't be charmed. It's like, uh, I mean, um, highest is a fourteen. All right, they all fail. They're all charmed by me. Okay, so this one. So am I. <laughs> Nobody has ever wanted pie. again more. Charmed by the smell of apple pie right yeah. now. Dude, I love Apple Pie, right? Leave me alone. Apple Pie is dope. I love Apple Pie. Which just means they can't attack me or target me, which is a little ironic considering I'm now majestic as hell. <laughs> All right. So they have cute little pink uh, fucking bases now, so we know that those cute, two are charmed. Cute. All right. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. 
Death Knight numero uno. It's this one. Was just facing Nicole, but Nicole's kind of MIA. It's gonna oh. close the gap. Why Engine. always me? Just being like <laughs> zooped away. And is going to uh, attack Strim. That's a good meme. Three times. I don't need you. One of the biggest threat anymore, and I'm still getting fucked. Uh, Strim, first one is a 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Second one is a 25 to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third one is a 15 to hit. Misses! Right, oh, Pog. Uh, boom. Two out of three. Boom. Uh, nine. It's like a 50-50 that I get something really fucking good out of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 19 points of slashing damage. Okay. And... It's 14... Uh, 21, 28, 35. Halved because Bran exists. So 17 points of necrotic damage. Okay. And they're also going to pump in one uh, smite, one staggering smite. Hey. So How you also rude. take 11, 14, 20 points of psychic damage. Ow. And I need you to make a wisdom save. I'm, I'm three hit points away from being bloody. It's a sad time. Um, okay, that's good. 26. Okay, you make the save so nothing happens. Get out of here. Alrighty. Thanos. Hey, okay, I'm gonna attack the one uh, top right of me. Okay. Uh, four. Rice. Uh, it's a straight roll because I'm raging, right? Because it would have disadvantage. Uh, yes. Correct. Okay. Wait, do attack? Yeah, attack rolls have advantage, right? Yeah. When you're uh, yeah. angry? Yeah. Uh, 24. Uh, only if she, only if she Re recklesses. Yeah. I'm recklessing it. It's okay. what I meant. Okay, 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 okay. 24 for the first one. Hits. And... That's 22 for the second. 24 and 22 both hit. Okay, cool. Okay. Max damage again. Uh, I hate, I hate maths. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. 23. Have, 23, okay. Have your phone calculator okay. just out next to you. Just let it do it. I, I should do that. Uh, and fucking 12. 12? Alrighty. That's it. That is your turn? Yeah. Okay. This here, Death Knight. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm just gonna whack at Bran, or Bran, uh, at Gen, for uh, three swings. Sorry, who is? This Death Knight that just came from the altar all the way down here. Uh, he has to roll a charisma saving throw. Oh, okay. Nice. Because I'm just so fucking glamorous. Because he's entered the smell of cherry pie. Uh, no, it's... 14? He fails. Mm -hmm. um, the attacker must be on a fail. It can't attack me this turn, and it must use a new tar target for its attack, or the attack is wasted. Uh, it's going to turn to Trim, then. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Trim. It's within five feet of me, so I'm going to take my sentinel attack on that guy. Okay. For hitting Trim. Okay. Do yours first, obviously. Uh, 27, 24, 17. Trim. All those on me? Yes. I'll hit. I... Whoa, so sad. Whoa. <laughs> blame again. <laughs> Don't blame me. Hashtag blame again. Uh, 27 blame points of damage. On the Christmas save. Ow. And... Nine, thirty-five, forty-two, forty-three, forty. Twenty-three points in necrotic damage. Already have to. Already have to. Okay, thank you. All right, Bran. I'm with the real man. Uh, I got a twenty-two to hit. I rolled a fucking ten. Twenty-two hits. Uh, so he takes ten points of slashing damage. Mhm. Mm and eleven halved to five. 
necrotic. Okay. And I guess, does he take the bleed now? Because it's his turn. What's the rating on the bleed? Turn. Is it start of next turn? Or is it his next turn? Oh, it's fucking... Uh, doo -doo -doo. I think it's at the start of his next turn. I need... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Start of the next turn. Yeah, so, so, okay. Yeah, so that would be next round. I have to fucking remember that. Okay. That would be next round, then... Um, wow, remembrance. Is that is their turn? Peter! Runs away. This is where things get interesting. Don't say that. We're already getting fucked up. I was just going to say... Uh... Uh, uses his bonus action... To cast spiritual weapon. He's casting spiritual weapon. He is. I uh, spell it. Well, you know, the spell is called spiritual weapon. There's nothing spiritual about this, but this like blood soaked shadow no. blade Ooh. just like appears. Ramonia! But I counter spelled. <laughs> oh, you counter spelled? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that doesn't mean that it works. Uh, no, it does, because he just cast it at base level, so counter spell all the And I'm casting at third level counter spell. Yeah. So, okay. So it starts to appear, dissipates, and he just turns his focus to you for a second trim. Just, oh, just, just... <laughs> <laughs> You're oh. constant so annoyance should... to this man. <laughs> But decides to refocus himself on Brandon. He's just gonna fucking swing three times again then with his with his action. Uh, he has disadvantage on all those attacks. Does he now? Why? Yep. Because I attacked him and he's attacking someone who isn't me. <laughs> I mean, um, he can't attack you, but... Well, that's, that's his fucking problem. That's his problem. Well, okay, so <laughs> disadvantage rule a natural 18 and 19 on the first uh, attack. So that's a 27 to hit. It hits. It's cheating, okay. Uh, just say it hits and move on. 23 to hit on the second one? Yes. And a 25 hit on the yeah, third one. Uh, yes. Ethan, you also have resistance on all the damage. Cool. Oh, there you go. He's helping me from beyond the grave. What? Oh, dead! Uh, we don't know that! 26 points of slashing damage. Is that before or after it's halved? That's uh, before, so 13 slashing. Cool. Uh, I'm very hurt. Uh, 9, 12... I can help you, unfortunately. 15, oh, 22, 26, 32, Sorry, 38, 41. What's the actual wording? 49, just 15, I have resistance to all damage. 50, all damage 50, yeah. 56, half uh, would be 28, 28 points of necrotic damage. Okay. So I'm turn. really hurt. It is now Trim's turn, though. Oh, where we hold. Oh, good. Okay. Really? Um, uh, ow. Um, I, my plan has been forced to change. <laughs> I will cast. Cause I'm, I'm looking fucked up. Bran's looking kind of fucked up. Nicole's gone. Nicole's, <laughs> Nicole's gone. Bran, Bran looking Actanis, as dead. fucked up and as you Ak are. Actanis is a, a bit injured, but she's not like, you know, crazy I looking I don't yet. think she looks bloody, um, no. Okay, 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 okay. Um... I'm just not bloodied. There you go. And, and yes, then on the Morwen, Morwen and Gen. Same. Are, have you I'm guys perfectly been fine. I have not been yeah. touched. Gen, Gen, yeah. are you injured at all? Yeah, we got blown up together. Right, right, right. right. Okay, okay. <laughs> I am so, heavily bloodied. Up to six creatures. You tend to okay. be, um, I be one I'm going to yeah. use my sixth level spell slot to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Shit, okay. On Myself, Aberan, Gen, and Atanis. Well, I have a question. Because I'm pretty sure I've allowed my, this magic to heal we in Camping 1, Aberan, before. But technically, it says, has no effect on undead. So Bran perfect. is not, for the, sake of not quite... for the sake of mechanics, Bran is not considered undead. Okay. My cool. creature type cool. is not undead. Yeah, he's human. Okay. I, I'm, then... I don't identify as undead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do. And because because I'm casting it at 6th level, I get an extra d8. Yeah, so that's what, 4 d8s, right? 4 d8, yeah. I rolled good on two of them and shit on one of them. So that's 7, 12, 13, 15, plus 8 because of my life domain cleric, which mm -hmm. would be 15 plus 8 is 23. 23. So everyone I mentioned heals for 23 hit points. Did you also add your, then, uh, your ability you. modifier? Your spell count, your, no, uh... so 28 hit points. 
And then well, it's the, it's I... the uh... oh, hold on. No, it's just it's just your ability modifier. Spellcasting yeah, ability modifier. That? Yeah. yeah, just this wisdom plus five. So yeah, so twenty eight for what I mentioned, and then I with my level uh, because with my blessed healer mm -hmm. feature. I regain an additional seven hit points personally. Because whenever I heal anyone else, I heal one, nice. two hit points plus the spell's level for myself. Oh, it's yeah. the Damn. healing circle jerk. That's sick. Yeah, exactly. So That's awesome. I'm looking a bit better. I'm still I'm still bloodied, but I'm no longer on death's door. Um, so that's my action. Oh yeah. And then Wait, how much healing did we just? Get? I did twenty eight for all of you guys. Yeah, twenty eight for one I mentioned, and then I got an additional eight. Beautiful. Thank you. And then I am going to just in a very little like pint sized talk like right now I'm angry <laughs> and I'm gonna wild shape uh into a Girl. Which, hold on which one's better too hold on to fucking crush him which one has more hit points so I was, uh, <laughs> maybe maybe, uh, maybe we'll have the really, token really okay the same thing? okay that's monkey. monkey. Okay. I'm gonna become. I'm gonna make sure I, as I'm sh like wild shaping, I make sure to back away enough. I'm not gonna like crush Aberan. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna become an elephant. Oh my goodness. Big ol' elephant. Nice. Yo, do I have those? Oh. <laughs> the elephant. elephant. I would hope so, dude. And now, whoever mentioned oh. it that I never used in campaign one, but up for I'm gonna use the whole hack of make oh. my temporary hit points the hit points of the elephant so I can keep track. Of my hit points in my wild shape. On Don't have an elephant, on. so you're uh, you're 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 getting uh, you're you're getting the owl bear. Toad. You're getting the owl bear. Fuck it. Really the... That's fine. I'll take it. I mean, there's a bull. How big, are you? How, big how big are you? What's your size? Huge. Huge. Oh fuck. Uh. So we have normal, large. You. Yes, yeah, so you're. That's already what you are. Okay. Cool. Um. You. Oh, so we'll hide trim for the time being. And we'll say that you kind of just get shout outs like here. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. And, and <laughs> that. Sick. Actually. Well, I can't do the attack. I'm just going to stay there. I'm just going to stay there. That's Is that your me. turn? That's my turn. Yeah. My bonus action was the shape shift. My action was the spell. And I don't want to move because mm -hmm. I'll just get hit and I can't do anything even if I move. Okay. So... Nicole. A actually, hold. Oh. I am going to move a little bit. Um. Can I put somehow, so there's 20 feet minimum. My movement as an elephant is 40, so I, I can move even further if I want to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, can I put as much distance between maxing at 40 feet myself and Peter in a straight line? So I'm, I'm, I'm revving you up can, for a charge next turn. You can, but you'll proc three attacks of opportunity. Because <laughs> this guy gets an attack, Peter gets an attack, and got. this guy gets an yeah. attack. I'll just, I will, then I'll just stay there and be ready to step on people next turn. Okay, that's okay. my turn then. Nicole. Oh, uh, do I hit the ceiling oh at all? Or do I go up into the clouds when I shape shifted? Because now I'm all tall. The clouds are 60 well, foot up. The, the, the oh, clouds are 60 feet up. Oh, so okay. you're fine. <laughs> um, Nicole. Hello. Can I get a wisdom saving throw, please? I I have a Come question. On, Nicole. Can I get a whole yeah? I, I, <laughs> oh, yeah. I have. I have a question. Do I just lose my turn in this place, or do I still get a turn? Uh, that I depends fail? on the result of your wisdom saving throw. Oh, don't yeah. fuck it but up. You're, you're getting smile. It at the start of your turn. So now, do I think this number is going to be big enough, or do I use that last point? If it's even remotely decent, I wouldn't it. use it because of your your luck. If it's not eighteen, I wouldn't. I, I'll. Be, I'll be real with you. I say decent number, I mean anything that's double digits. So I'm using a point of luck. <laughs> oh, I told no. you! I told Koiba. you! Koiba. Koiba. Thir no. 13? 13? Yeah. Uh, that's no, not it. That's, gonna gonna that's not it, buddy. Is it, it, oh, is it not? <laughs> no. I can't wait for the time police to rescue I can't. I can't wait to just come back. All my friends dead. And he's just standing there like, well, I'll be like, Oh, uh, uh, so um, this is awkward. So you look at what you see around you. Fantastic news. It's just this 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 wasteland of 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 of, of death and and decay, and you kind of you're, the, the 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 piercing headache that you have 
kind of makes it so that you you cannot focus your vision is blurred but if you w desperately want to do something you can like you have an action and a bonus action oh well but then i'm activating brutality okay getting the thorns out all right it takes a fucking yeah, action. So if, I, so if, I, if a turn's going to be wasted here anyway, I might as well use it. That's true, that's true. <laughs> and then the bonus action. Wow, I really have no bonus actions, huh? That is cringe, because I can't fucking see anyone. You can cry as a bonus action. Yeah, that's true. You no, know, actually, do you know what I can do as a bonus action? I can take my potion of greater healing that I've got. Go on. Because I've still got one. There you go. <laughs> I hope it tastes like piss. It does. I've actually oh. got more than one. I've got four. I lied. Lol. We got. Uh, Laura got replaced with 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 better Laura guys. Honestly, oh. Laura two point oh. <laughs> when did Laura grow a mustache? <laughs> uh, all right. So. How much did you heal for? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Is that your turn? I mean, probably. Right. Let's be real. Wow. Uh, do I have any movement? Yeah. West. 40 feet west. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. All right. I can't wait to come back. I'm just not on the map anymore because I've moved so you're outside the You're outside the fortress. <laughs> so yeah, fuck. this this fella, uh, the charm uh, duke, is just he can't attack you, right? It's not like, oh, he suddenly. Yeah. Uh, it's not like he suddenly sees your allies as his allies, right? No, no, no. This is so he's gonna, they're charmed by me. They can't attack me. So he's just going to keep waiting on the time. Like I said, it's ironic considering the whole majesty thing going on, but mm -hmm. whatever. All right. Uh, Aktanis, first attack is a 26 to hit. Yep. Second one is a 29 to hit. Yep. Third one is a dirty 20 to hit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you miss cutting words right now, guys? <laughs> You know what I miss? Having a fucking turn. You had a turn. Oh, I forgot yeah. you don't have cutting words anymore. Yeah. Uh, 25 points of slashing damage. Half to 12 because you're raging. Woo, I love when it gets halved. 12. <laughs> 18. 21. 28. It's not like you're just ready to die, Bill. 35. 40. 41. Like 49. 51. 59. Half to uh, 29 points of necrotic damage. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Just that's, that's it. That's all. That's fine. I'm still over 100. Okay, but this guy is not also going to attack you three times because you're right there. Okay. Do it, bro. With advantage because of flanking and all that BS. Uh, I, did, 30. I did try to find them. 30? Yeah. So the, uh, Oh, to hit, yeah. To hit, yeah. <laughs> uh, 26 to hit. Yep. And another 30 seconds. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, everything is awful. Everything uh, is, is fun 14, when you're part of a team. 15, 17, <laughs> 32, half. So you take 16 points of slashing damage. Cool, cool. I'm now under 100. Damn, basically dead. 30, I already healed yeah. you 20, too. 21, 22. It's okay, I just found out. 32, 40. I just 40, looked at how many health potions I still have. 40, so. 40, oh, 40, 40, 40, 40, oh, 40, right. 47, like 53, 58. So 29 points of necrotic. Cool, cool, cool. And that's it. Oh, dope. Okay, sorry. This guy's I'm, charmed by Gen, I'm so fine. he's going for the next uh, available target, which is Bran. Okay. I'm bloodied. <clears throat> I, we've been yeah. bloody. We out here. <laughs> I was gonna say um, we out here been bloodied the Brent? whole time, bro. Yeah. Thirty right to hit on the first one. No. Natural twenty not. on the second one. Also no. And another thirty. Holy fuck! I'm rolling out of my ass. Why did you even? Jesus. I was gonna say Dutch. What the fuck? I rolled a Don't natural twenty and two natural nineteens for those attacks. Two natural nineteens <gasps> and a natural twenty. I might go down here. I'm. I'm. I'll give you the um, non crit first, just for the sake of ease. Six, 16 points of slashing damage. Oh. One six. Oh. Um, eight, I might ten, go down thirteen. That ruins my plan. It's gonna be a waste of my wild shape. If you go down here. Five, twenty-six, and thirteen points of necrotic. That after having. Yeah, that's after having. Okay. And for the crits. 
for a little bomb on the damage die there. Nice. So it's two. Like fuck for that. Seven points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, five, seven, 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. No. Would be 42, but 21 because you're resistant. So 21 points of necrotic. I'm still up! You're up! It's <laughs> fine! All right. Morwen! It's popping off over there. I'll break so I can, like, figure out what I need to do with my turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, there's... Soon. Soon, TM. Go, 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 go. Fucking Iconis is in the worst positioning ever. I just want to point it out. She's literally super fucking annoying for all of my fucking spells. <laughs> literally so making it like, so Ooh. fucking difficult for me. I appreciate like, you, but shit. fuck you. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that isn't the most like Tannis thing. Right. Do I just fucking burn it? Yes. Fuck. Why do I yes. have spells, dude? I'm never playing yes. Spellcaster ever again. <laughs> do it. I hate this so much. Like All right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm a. I'm gonna throw a star. And uh, is are any of them looking fucked up? Uh, Peter's looking pretty fucked up, actually. Yeah. All yeah. right. I'm throwing a fucking star at him. Go on. <laughs> um. Okay, that's twenty six to hit. Yeah. Cool. Uh, All right. That's uh. 11 plus 15 is 26 points of radiant damage. 26, oh shit, okay. And then I'm gonna fucking whip my hand in my robe and whip out a fucking jade circlet and throw that shit on my head. And y'all see a fucking adult gold dragon where Morwood was. Oh shit. Shit, more, more intelligent. Like, oh, shit. A dragon fucking shape change. There's a dragon and an elephant in the room. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. It's been 12 seconds. I don't have a gold and dragon. Be a dragon I don't have a gold dragon for you. I'll give you, I'll give you a. Brandon Actan is probably gonna be dead. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll come take back it. I'll take it. I'll give you a red dragon. I'll be you know? fine. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Not it's, 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 it's adult. Oh, <laughs> it's, adult. Oh, it's adult, right? So it's, it's, yeah, 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 it's adult. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, then... that, see, that's actually what huge is, right? Uh. uh... I am technically yeah, actually, wait, my... huge. 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 I'm huge. I'm huge. Yeah. I'm huge. She should be bigger. Elephants are huge. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. Um, even huge still looks dwarfed compared to just how big the dragon. I mean, that's only fitting. <laughs> okay. That's so only we, can, we have okay. more than the dragon. <laughs> and uh, trim the elephant. Christ. And trim the elephant. We got I'm a whole getting... fucking zoo over Runs here. On and a horse. I still have I, ha I still have the stars floating around me. By the way, there's wait till I mass polymorph. Bran's technically large because he's on a war horse, but yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You don't deserve it. No. Um, okay, and then I am going to fly over. Can I put myself right in between like the three purple guys? The charmed bitch. Like right, yeah, right in the corner. So right, yeah, 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 right, in right in the there. I'm a fucking. One. Yeah, Look me. at him go, dude! I missed that. Look at him okay. fly! That's, that, that's my turn. Uh, Look at her! Action to this cast is Morwen. Spell. Yeah, this is Morwen. Yeah. Yeah. Soko's not cool. Morwen is. All right. I suck my dick, bitch. Anything else with your turn? If that is Maybe I will. That, that, that is all I can do. All right, Bran, Mr. I'm thinking large. I'm fucking large. I, look, I was joking, okay? Like... I'm thinking large, guys. I, I mean, I, Bran's taking I'm a nerd. Okay, um... Fuck you. Uh, I'm casting Vampiric uh, Touch. Not Vampiric Touch. Um, fucking Vampiric Blood. Touch. Okay. On who? Uh, on me. Oh, right. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's the fucking Helio, the... Helio one. Yeah, boy. So I get 7 temp HP. Nice. And then I'm going to heal for all of my weapon damage this turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So... Uh... I'm attacking the guy that's nearly dead, first of all. The one that used to be, uh... Yeah. Fucking the one that used to be... Incapacitated? Incapacitated. That's a natural 20. Okay. <gasps> yeah. So... Uh, I'm gonna do my weapon damage first, because that's the one that heals me. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Uh, so that's 20 points of weapon damage. Okay. Uh, uh, 12 
Double to 24, half to 12, necrotic. Yeah, he's gone. That guy, cool. that guy's gone. He just collapses to the floor. Cool, 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 one cool. of the cool. Death Knights that's yeah. gone? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, if I had a bonus action, I could make another attack, but I don't, so fuck. Mm -hmm. um, so then I have another two attacks. None of the other Death Knights are looking like hurt, hurt are they? Um... None of them look bloodied, no. Okay. Fuck Peter then, I guess. Go on. Uh, um, another natural 20. Jesus. Because I get to roll fuck. all of these with advantage. Yeah, that's how I rolled two 19s and a 20 against you the, earlier. So. That's a, a pretty <laughs> mediocre 4 on the D8, but that doubles to 8, uh, plus 6. So he takes 14 slashing, okay. which I also heal. Mm -hmm. And... Oh fuck! I'm stupid. I've been rolling. Yeah, I've been rolling. No, I am stupid. I've been rolling three d8 this turn. I've been rolling three d8 instead of five d8. Doesn't matter for the last guy because he's dead, but for Peter it matters. Ten, nineteen, twenty, 23 necrotic doubled and then halved, so twenty-three. I didn't want to finish him off. Peter. No. Oh shit! He was. Go. He hasn't really taken any damage. Okay. Yeah. He's taking some. Um, no, it's phase two, bro. Look at He's doing it phase two. Yeah. Look at that fucking dog. Look at that fucking dog. Look at Look at that fucking dog. 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 I'm just gonna plunge <laughs> agony down through the gap between his neck and the shoulder. Um, I can't remember the fuck it. I can't remember Baldrin? what it's called. The Baldrin. Baldrin. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna plunge agony through that, okay. and then pull up. <laughs> he like you can see him like kind of like grasping at the blade of your sword. You can see he looks at you, and the like blue eyes flicker a bit. Thought that was it. And he uh, drops to the floor, drops onto his knees, and you can see him. All the death knights around you, you can see this like black energy just leave their bodies and they all get sucked into oh, into uh, Peter Orson's oh. body. Like this this oh, necrotic energy just enters oh, like Peter it. as he grows in size. He's Power Ranger. And from his back oh. sprouts these skeletal we... these skeletal wings. Uh -uh. As he oh, and as his plate mill just keeps like morphing and, and kind of like fitting around the body. Yasha. But he is now. Uh, let me quickly just get rid of all these guys. Um, I'm mad. Does anything happen to Nakul as this? Does yeah, Nakul get have... back? Don't Nicole, Nicole, I didn't get to it. Nicole, 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 Nicole comes back. Yeah, but just give me a second. <gasps> He's uh, done it. He's done it. Him, honestly. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I'm just okay. going to play D&D. Hold on, hold on. He's never helped in any fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get to that all shortly. True. Just give me right, a right, right. <laughs> it's true. Counterpoint. It hurts, so but it's true. If Koiba wasn't here, he would have done that on someone useful. Ah, that's a good point. That's, that's a fair point. I'm an excellent meat shield. Could have done it on you two, though. <laughs> Where the fuck are you going, Peter? You silly Billy. Billy <laughs> Billy? This, he's okay. had that no. fucking thing just up there constantly. Okay. Just hiding from us. Oh, he's the Archangel Michael, guys. He's coming to save us. Oh, good. Oh my god. Is that uh, And with that, um, <laughs> it's time for phase it's two. But I think we'll, uh, we'll, take a, we'll take a break here. This is probably yeah, the best moment great. to take a break. Hold on. As, as Peter Orson just like rises up, kept afloat by these skeletal wings in, in this in this. this imbued looking plate mail his face completely just like cracked and torn open uh yeah phase two not done yet let's go for a little break here I I like phase um, a mid-turn break unheard of uh yeah this is like this is the best yeah, option you're gonna get yo uh yeah, no, my bad. Bad. thematically right. makes sense yeah so I we're gonna take a break here and uh we'll be back in a few minutes thank you so much for sticking around with us so far, guys, four years of Dungeon Select, it's a blast to bring back some old characters and an old plot point that hasn't gotten revolved, resolved yet. I'm having a lot of fun so far, and hope you guys are as well. BRB! Yeah, dude. See you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty. Hello, hello, hello. 
Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, we're back from our break. This battle map looks fucking mad now, by the way. It's yeah, insane. Right. <laughs> also, so, hang on. This is what's happened, by the way, is I've been gone for 12 seconds. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've come back. There's a dragon, an <laughs> elephant, and what the fuck that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'm like, um, we cut uh, Brand's turn short. So, uh, before we get back to that, um, as you now look, you can see there's this huge figure humanoid still but with these large skeletal wings protruding from his from his shoulders um still wearing the like twisted black plate mail that he was his sword has grown significantly in size and is um is imbued with this like cloudy black energy bran is there anything uh that you wanted to do uh before uh, we end your turn yeah i have a third attack go on that guy's still in my melee, right? Um, yeah, hold on, let me quickly just... Yeah. Um, I don't have an advantage, I don't have advantage anymore because he's massive. Fucking huge! Uh, that is a 21 to hit. Does not hit. 21. Okay. Um... Wait, does it hit? What the fuck? I guess I will just sit there and cry. Did you say 21 doesn't hit? Yeah, I did, yeah. It was a natural 9, so... <clears throat> yeah, but... What the fuck? <laughs> it's a big more... bad! It is a very, very big bad, actually. My dude more powerful than Orcus. <clears throat> uh, you know, I had, to, I had to raise the takes a little bit, guys. Come on now. Um, He's getting help from two gods. Orcus was easier. That now was that you've bitch. ended your turn... He's going to use a legendary action. Hmm. To to use an ability called Planar Destruction. Oh. He opens up a portal oh, yeah. with his left hand and reaches through it. And with that, he reaches into the plane of undeath, and he pulls from its unholy, it's the pure unholy energy that resides there. And he, with his other hand, points at. Um. Look at the battle map. The point kind of beside Bran. So it'll have Abaran, Nicole, Albert, Trim, and Gen within the, oh. the point of detonation. The fucking dragon? Trim. Cringe. Not the dragon, huh. no. Oh, and he's going to make long. a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I get advantage. Oh, good. I'm a very dexterous elephant. <laughs> I, uh, I don't win these, boys. Yo! I hate I to tell okay. you this. I really don't win these. I rolled a 17 with a negative modifier. Hey, you're no Jax. I rolled a 17. I so, don't think we're going to save. I rolled with advantage, right? Mm -hmm. I rolled a 2 on my first one, so I thought, oh, this is fine. I got a second dice to roll. It'd be fine. I rolled a 1 on the second one. So it's mm -hmm. a 2? Oh my god. Seven. If only you, if only really you had some luck dice. left. I have no points of luck left. I know, because you spent them on dumb shit. Well, the kill's using more damage! <laughs> so, it's deck fine. saves, uh, again, Trim, what do you guys roll? 17. Oh 17. shit, I need to 18. roll for sticks as well. 18. Nicole was like a uh, 2. I got a, I got a 17, uh, yeah, sticks. Plus six, I get plus 0, so I rolled a 1 and a 2, on my advantage. <laughs> nice. The sticks got a 12. None of you make the save. Um, cool. As this just explosion <laughs> of unholy energy just blasts you all, you take. I will... Use my reaction to spirit shield again. Oh. Fuck again. All my homies hate him. Trim's an owlbear form. Trim's oh, an elephant. elephant. Yeah, he doesn't nece even necessarily know it's no, me. No, I, I like, can kind of, I can probably be, guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Dra the I'm, dragon's a little bit. The dragon, there. I'm like... Or like, either, the em be... either the Empress has come to help us, yeah. or... <laughs> <laughs> or... And then it's, where's Morwen? <laughs> well, I mean, I do look exactly like the Empress, too, because that's the only gold dragon I've seen. Yeah. True. <laughs> you take... Uh-oh. 132. <gasps> halved, because you're near Bran. To... Uh, so, 132, so that would be... 66 points in the chronic damage. 
Okay. Uh, Gen takes 12 less damage. I'm oh, still yeah. an elephant. Nice. I'm so, still an elephant. <laughs> two things happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Number one. Brand is uh, down. Sticks, because I have Mounted Combatant, takes half that again. So 33. Okay. Um, but I think if... Sticks just has normal Warhorse stats, right? Yeah. So Sticks is Not gone. So that, gone does or... that mean you're no longer considered... Uh... No. I'm no longer considered a large because I'm no longer mounted. Um, Bran is unconscious. Yep. Nice. Um, Dutch, you also take uh, 12 points of force damage from my spirit shield as it goes on to Gen. You yeah. see these sort of ancestral spirits then, like, vengefully go attack uh, the point of where the, so the source of the damage. Okay. So we've raised the stakes. Again. 130 odd fucking Jesus. <laughs> You're gonna die, boys. Alright. <laughs> no purse. Um freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> uh, mm. Um mm. Um mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> Any big healing spells my god. Oh, um, die today. I'm gonna cast Ash so Am I gonna cast ninth level masculine wounds right now? Is that? <laughs> Ooh, do that. I don't know. Are ninth you? level wish. Lol, damn. Get Couple health. So. My my other ninth level spell that would be worth using is foresight, which is kind of Ooh. insane. Ooh, yeah. that'd be fun. And then I have power word stun at eighth level. So like that's also pretty insane. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to use my eighth level spell slot. Yeah, but course. I feel like seventh level isn't enough healing. So. Yeah. Up to you, man. I mean, what do you, you do? Nice little catch 33. We won't tell you. <laughs> do what you gotta do. I like what you did there. Um, yeah. I know what I'm I want to say, but it's metagaming, isn't it? I'm gonna cast mm -hmm. eighth level masculine wounds. Eighth level? Okay. Yeah. Which is 68. Please. I wish I had Beacon of Hope up right Please. now. It would be automatic yeah. max. Oh, I hate myself. Okay. Eight. 12, 15. Oh no. Ooh, 24, 26, plus nine, so 35 points of healing for everybody. Did you add your spellcasting modifier? Yes. Okay. I'm guessing this heals my wild shape beat hit point yes. pool. It doesn't heal terms underneath it. Correct. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so Brand, you're no longer unconscious. You're prone on the floor with 35 HP. And then bonus action, fucking. Back, foul beast! <laughs> give the homies. Uh, give the homies. Fuck, I already forgot what it was. 14, 14. temporary HP. Still got mine. And. Everyone can use your reaction to move if you want. I get uh, temporary HP as, Which means Brand as can stand an elephant. Up. Yeah, yeah, Brand could stand up. Uh, yeah, your your wild ship can get temp HP. Yeah. Okay. I will use my reaction. Um, I I will use the rea I will use the reaction to back up twenty feet in a straight line, facing Peter's new form. So I I want a straight, unimpeded path to him next turn. Uh. You, uh... Oh, there's a there's a fucking. You'd have to go the around the side. There's a, there's a cool in the way, but I'll allow you to kind of squeeze through that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Because yeah. I don't want to. Could, could Trim not just go to the east of him? I don't know if that's twenty feet. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that, no, no, yeah, she could, she could like go. Then, yeah, because I have forty feet of movement as an elephant. That yeah, I can yeah, take. absolutely. Yeah, you can, yeah. you can just like kind of so, like yeah. with your back against the wall. Yeah, yeah. I want to get back against the wall and and then ready. Yeah. Okay. Ready up. Anyone else want to use their reaction to move uh, anywhere? Question, Dutch. Hello. Because you've swapped tokens, um, is Peter still in the initiative list at the top? Um, no. He was in between. He was in between Artanis and me. It's true. He was before me. He was right before me. Okay, knowing where he is in initiative, I'm going to use the reaction to get up. Wait, hold on. Uh, what was the um? Where was he again? Shit. Where he was right before me. He was uh, right before Peter me. Peter sure. was. Yeah. 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 Just before trim, so let me just quickly pop oh. him in there. Oop, there you go. Oh, I hate him. 
Okay. Uh, so knowing that he's going to get a turn before me, I'll use the reaction to get up. Okay. Uh, that's only half your movement, right? So if you wanted to use, like, whatever, 15 I'll feet... I'll take to... an attack of opportunity, though, so... That is true. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um... Actually, one, I... could, one could argue, because you were considered large, you take up a, a bigger space, right? So now that you're no longer large, we could say that you, because of the fact that you're long on your horse, you, you're just out of reach. You're just outside of five feet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's backwards off your horse. And then touch it should be as temporary reach. I wouldn't say that if I, I knew he would still be able to hit him. Koiba, all right? I'm not that big of a dick. <laughs> I mean... That would be funny as fuck, though. Yeah, but look, <laughs> realistically... <laughs> Why can I move with like 15 feet and would brand back out of this? That's fair. That's oh, fair. I guess you can heal. I'm just giving you the option that, because you have it. So it's up to you what you want to do. I'll with it. move to fucking underneath Morwen's wingspan. Why not? It's like here. Yeah. I want to hug from Dragon Mommy. Who doesn't? Oh don't, address, don't address yourself with Dragon Mommy ever again, Soko. Oh my god, the cool screen. Yeah, that's Tyler reserved for Alex Straza and Alex Straza only. Thank you. Yeah, true. <laughs> Dragonflight baby coming soon to a World of Warcraft near you. Just All hope right. they don't lock the servers. Uh, anything else? Uh, does anyone else want to use their reaction to move because of Gen's epic uh, thingamajiggy? Thingamajiggy? No. Okay. I'm good. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, Gen, anything else you want to do with your turn? Okay. And Thomas. Um, I would like to bonus action uh drink a superior healing potion. Okay. Last. Can't say I blame you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Five. Six. <clears throat> Ooh, that's actually good. Now I've got an Adam sheet. 4, 8, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 28, 36. 36 H Pizzle. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. I have so many potions from the end of the campaign, dude. I just never used them. Oh, now it's as good a time as any. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This is not an easy fight. How high off the ground is he? He's just kind of like, he... he's just kind of like levitating. He's not, he's not oh, gone okay, up, cool. up yet. I'm going to move behind him. It's like here. Yeah. And whack him. Go on. Re recklessly, uh, if I can. You're technically yeah, flanking with Nicole, so you have advantage regardless. You don't oh, have to do I don't need to. I'm not going to then. Oh my god. What's up? Thank okay, god, one thing. You don't have to fucking flank anymore because Ectanus exists. Oh, true. Ectanus exists. Uh, 31 to hit for the first one. 31 hits. Could you imagine if you said 31 misses? I would have <laughs> actually. I would have left. I would have left the call. I would have just left. I'd be like, bye. <laughs> Not just left the call, just like leave the group DM. Just never come back. Yeah, I was just gone. I was just, just gone. Like, a runner. Just, just, he's out. The second one, like, the second one's good. a crit. The second one's a crit, okay. Woo! Huge. Okay, first one. Let's go. Because I got critical dice. Um, do, you have, do you have two or three attacks in, in your action? Two, but if she crits, two. gets a one on a bonus action. Right. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. And then uh, I also have critical dice. So the first one. Is fucking big number. Um, I hate mass. It's not a big number. Twelve, no, thirteen. Thirteen, 13. points of damage. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out how to do this. I've never done this. Go for it. Hero one, uh, two. Okay, three extra dice. One. Nice. Three. Oh yeah, because you're, you're full. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm full Bob, dude. Mm -hmm. oh, Bitch. Sick. 22. That's rude. 31. 35. 41. 
48. 52. Uh, what's the damage typing on that? Just normal? Is it just uh, slashing? Yeah, it's just whatever? normal. Yeah, it's just slashing. Magical because uh, of your hysteria. Yeah. It's hysteria. All right. Anything else? And then I get um, an extra hit. Oh, yeah, because you crit, right? Yeah, roll, to, roll your attack. Go on, have him. Have him. Have him. Give him a good old schmack. Crit right. him again. Oh, shit. Do uh, let me do it again. Oh my god. Keep in mind you have then advantage. You... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19, so 19 plus whatever. Uh, 32. It's, yeah. Um, uh, 22. 70 points of damage. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts. Holy fuck. Okay. And Good that's shit. it. Uh, does that mean that's he gets up. a turn now? It does. <laughs> he, for a bonus action, <laughs> is going to use a mythic action. Yay. Oh, great. Oh, like, cool. What? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm I didn't realize mythic. we were fucking raiding in WoW. A mythic yeah. action. Oh, mythic sorry? action is something they added uh, a few source books back. Oh, of Theros. Yeah, yeah I'll see the like that. Uh, gives bosses the ability to have a second phase. This they gain the ability to do mythic actions when their HP reaches zero, and then they reemerge and they get some extra Mad some extra goodies. So for his mythic action, <clears throat> if I can find it, he's going to use an ability called a weapon to rival the gods of old. Oh no. <laughs> He raises his weapon to the oh, to the like sky, it. and from the clouds like above it. him, you can see the red lightning just <laughs> strike his <laughs> strike his weapon and imbue it with unholy power. That's and he's then going to fancy boss. and he's then going to multi attack, which now has four attacks instead of three. Oh, okay. oh. Why, no. do all of his, why do all I, of his abilities sound like fucking Halo levels? No, no, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I faced this Final Fantasy XIV boss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I faced this one. I know, man. Imagine playing Final no, no, Fantasy. Source material. Uh, his first attack is going to be a sweeping attack. Anyone within a cone of 15 feet in front of him gets hit by that, so that would be... Um, Did I just move out of that, or am I right? Hold on, hold on. I, mean, I think if, you just put yourself in it. I mean, if he needs to, he's, he can move like this. Glad I moved away, man. Hmm. I mean, if he's attending on an attacking me. If he moves away from Magtana, she gets an extra stick. attack, right? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me quickly, I need to work out the logistics. He's going to move in such a way where he'll take an attack opportunity from Actanus and Nicole. Yes! Oh, no, never mind. Nicole gets to do something. Oh, yeah, Nicole has a reaction. user's reaction, doesn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. Yep. So, just so Actanus then? Oh, come on. So, in the cone will be Aberan and uh, Morwen. That's fucked up. 28 to hit. hit that hits. Uh, so that's 16. 20 hit. It, 20. 20. 20? Just it. Yep. Okay. So, the sweeping attack... It's going to be <sighs> natural twenty, dude. I'm not making no! this up. Natural twenty. Go away. So he just swipes his big sword and strikes both Aberan and Morwen. I have anything for this. Uh, You're a dragon. You're fine. What's the new damage that the weapon to rival the gods of old does? We need a Caduceus to negate these. Right. <laughs> Let me switch to Grave Cleric mid combat, please. Thanks. I announced I was originally going to be a Grave Cleric until I read what Twilight Dominion did. I was like, oh. And then you got Broken Dome. Yeah, that was like, oh. You take Last 35. You dome. both take 35 points of slashing damage. Oh, she's cool. not bad, guys. Only 35 slashing. And. I'm going to go down again. 104. No, I'm going to go down again. I get knocked down. And I get up again. I get no, 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 no. I just, I just, I just get knocked down. I, just oh, get, okay. I get teleported away, and I miss half the fight. Woo! <laughs> God, I can't wait to hit this guy. Really want to charge actions. at him next turn. I need you not to go down. Revenge so I you again. Heal you instead. You can heal. 
Everyone else has got potions. Mm -hmm. Just no, let him die. Dude, 12, if he dies, just revivify 17, him next turn. It's 18, fine. You can do one charge 25, and then revivify. You can wait a minute to get him up. Exactly. 31, 35, 38. Raven Queen might come in clutch. 47, 67 halved to 33 points of necrotic damage. Oh uh, my god. Dragon's having just there. Why are you halving it? Oh, because of me. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm unconscious. Down. So now you're unconscious, and now he's going to use the other three attacks. First one. Oh my god, is he gonna kill you? He's gonna <laughs> attack Aberan. No! Oh my god, I know it. that's an auto One, hits. two, three, ah. yeah. He has advantage, too. That, that. uh, that's, that's a 30 to hit. Oh, does he have advantage? Because Nicole. Yes, because you're prone. No, yeah, it's only. Nicole. No, no, every turn after him, it'll oh. last to my next turn. Uh, yeah, that hits, Dutch. I'm, I'm so fortunate. That is two failed death saves. Cool. Gonna do it again. Yep. And with that, he just plummets his sword down into Aberan once, pulls it back out, and again stabs ah. Aberan to the point where Aberan, the blue light fades from his eyes, and he just no, lies there motionless. Hold on, did you really just say Stabaran? No, I didn't. Did I? I didn't mean to. <laughs> no, I don't I think thought you I did. heard Stabaran. I, I like, is this man I think making he said, puns? I think he went and stabbed Abaran. one of our fucking I think, friends. I think he said it like back to back quite quickly, so it sounds like yeah, Stabaran, but I think he so did Bran... say stabs Abaran. Bran dies, to... and for the final attack of the multi attack, he's just gonna fucking swing at. Why is he gonna attack the dragon? dragon? The dragon is not a threat, okay? Uh, <laughs> the dragon would be a dirty 20 to hit. Words have never been said. Oh, wait, dirty 20? Life. Yeah. Hold on. My AC is 19. However, however, I'm going to use my. Reaction to cast Go a shield. On. Okay. So it doesn't hit. Yeah, you can cast spells in uh, in fucking triple morph and shape change. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> why okay. did you? Why did you say it like that? Hang on. So that you, <laughs> you you raise your you raise you, you cast the shield spell as a bonus action and, and the sword just kind of clips your 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 thick like dragon scales and just bounces off. Yeah. And oh, that is bitch. his turn. Trim. Okay, Elephant. well, Elephant. I have I have only one choice I can do now. So, the elephant winds up and like runs. Oh my god! <laughs> Please die. <laughs> Fuck you! Hey, 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 too soon, man. Too soon. Fucking Ethan, man. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I hate this guy. <laughs> Both of you too soon. But that's where you're going. No, you say, hang on, I mean, hang he's on. Gone the fucking, he's gone okay. to fucking Shadowfell. Okay, oh, so, so I do. like, <laughs> elephant starts charging towards Peter, but as <clears throat> she gets, as I get close to him, and it looks like going for the gore attack, mm -hmm. starts shrinking, and I ch change, I drop wild shape and like baseball slide underneath him to land, to get to Aberan's body. And while I'm sliding, I pull out a diamond from my bag and go, you're not doing this to me again. I will save you. And I'm going to like How shove the, the diamond. Hold on. How do you have the elephants, move this? Elephants have 40 feet. So I wait and drop the wild shape at yeah. the very last minute. And I'm only 20 some feet like from him or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Hence this baseball <laughs> slide for the last bit of movement. Shh, all right. I mean, isn't he? Okay. For the sake of this. <laughs> I hate you so much, Ethan. I hate you so much. <laughs> Trim. I I'm casting like... the spell does nothing to give make it easier, right? Nope. Nope. Damn. Nope. Okay. Well, I was gonna try. <clears throat> you Just burns put your hand on Aberan's chest and uh, slide a diamond under like the palm of your hand. Oh god. Uh, I would like for you. Nope. nope. To make oh. a wisdom check. Okay. Just a wisdom check. Wisdom okay. check. Yep. Uh, not my spell casting. <laughs> Come on, Laura, Let's do it. Non-Laura roll. Let me use my reaction to inspire her. Okay, yeah, you can. You can inspire her. Wait, want. for real? Yeah. Use my reaction? I can't actually do that. That's not a thing I can do. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought you were being serious. Okay, never Damn. mind. Just trying to fucking... Okay. So, yeah, wisdom check, please. This is, this is Duke's dice, so it's actually Duke's fault if I don't no, make this roll. Okay. No, fuck. That's even better. That's even better. better. That's fucked up. I like it. I can't even, I can't even look... You're dead. That's that's an eleven. Oh, <gasps> it's above ten though. 
But no, but he's my died FB12. before the DC. The DC is higher for sure. <laughs> oh god. You... Um Cast the spell. The diamond <laughs> disintegrates. We have Abaran, more diamonds, right? Abaran does not wake up. Yeah. We one. have more diamonds, right? I have one more. Some... So you have um, one more. Come my fucking <laughs> bussy, bro. This sucks. Did none of you have any diamonds <laughs> left from like the? Campaign? I have two. No, Laura did. She had, Laura had two. <coughs> Yo, GM, be kind. I, was, I, I did say no, that. Good, I, specified if you have any spells that require material components. Yeah, so you have an extra as in, as in, you will have an extra two because of. Uh, so I told you, Laura. Total? I told you that's how it worked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you have three left. Really then. All right. Then but, yeah, the bonus... Runify does nothing. Okay, Ran then bonus action, you just see Trim starting to have a bit of a breakdown as the first time this all happened is like flashing before her eyes. And again, in her head just plays the, I this it's happening again. You're, you're, you're failing it again. You're doing it again. And I, she just starts kind of just like, no, no, get up. And it's just like banging on Aberan uh, like with her flimsy little arms as tears fall and rummaging through for the next diamond for her next turn. <gasps> this is her, like, oh du God. you're, Dutch, you're a fucking freak, okay? You're yeah. fucking <laughs> That's fucked up, Dutch. You're fucked up, bro. You're <laughs> fucked up. Dude. <laughs> you made this. What did I do? You it's your fault, Dutch. In this guy, dude. Are you not immersed? I am! Exactly, you're welcome. This is gonna be a fun little one shot from our old party, guys. I didn't ever say fun little. I never said fun little. Let you. He never said fun little. He did say one shot. So this means. Oh god, it's my turn now! You actually have a turn. I do. I'm just. What? I mean, fuck it, right? I'm just gonna attack the mans. Ectanus exists, so I get advantage. Does the target have to do with a melee of Ectanus, though? Oh, you so it has to be from five feet. Let and me check. He Hold left McTarnas' melee because I think... he Oh, no, 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 no. I think I have to be. I Hold. can't remember which way. Hold up. Hold up. Pause well, for one second. I'm sorry, it's important. Mm -hmm. my, my charm of restoration, because I guess it hit its exalted or whatever state before. Cause I don't remember this being a thing, but I'm looking at it. Because mm -hmm. I can use charges and shit to cast like the Beacon of Hope spell. And before it was. It gave me access to Revivify before I was a cleric, but that mm -hmm. was it. But now it says I can cast Revivify at will. It doesn't even say charges. Does that mean I don't need to use diamonds? Mm. I will take a screenshot and share it. Uh, and show no, you what it at means. will is a weird one. It's, 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 it's just if you're out of spell slots, you can you spell still spell cast slot. it. Okay, well, so I got you. It's not like you have to keep your spell slots into account. You can just cast it. Okay. But you still need the diamonds. You still require the diamonds, yes. Thank you, thank you. For my okay. thing, while you're raging, your allies have advantage on melee attack rolls against any hostile creature within five feet of you. Okay, so I don't. So you it. don't have advantage here. Because he left do, uh, Thomas yeah. Melee. Do I think I can hit? We don't We don't know it's AC, do we? we he just know probably 20. hits me over you, so I think you're reckless. We just, know, oh, so we just know 21 misses, right? Yeah, so I'm reckless. Yeah. Okay. That is Four a hours. 31. Nice. Thirty-one hits on the f first one, and I'll yeah, yeah I'll take damage. So that is now God. What it's been so fucking long since I've done brutality shit. <laughs> extra two d eight. Cool. So it's extra d eight plus a d four. <clears throat> just so much. All of your damage is just magical bludgeoning, right? Yeah. Two. Uh oh. What? There's one d four of force damage. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It doesn't make a difference, right? No, that doesn't. <clears throat> oh god, why is basic mass hard to me? This is like my entire job. <laughs> it's like do the work. A 23. 23 points of damage? Yeah. Okay. On my first attack, and then I will go again, another reckless attack. Mm -hmm. That's a natural motherfucking 20. Let's go. Oh. I'm oh, using God. divine smite. Go on. Oh fuck it, usually do I smite, mate. Does he? Does he count as undead? <laughs> oh, you fucking He's what? not considered undead, no. He's about to be. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> no, he's about to be dead. Do you? Do huh. you need to me to separate the radiant damage? Uh, negative. Cool. So it is two d eight plus another two. Do I? Do I double this? I double smite damage, don't I? 
Or is it not doubled? On a crit, you on a yeah, crit, any you dice rolls. Every dice roll. Any dice every roll. dice roll. Yeah. Cool. I couldn't remember how the fuck it was done. It's been a while since I've done like melee, yeah, no like worries, no melee worries, damage no crit. Right, so that is 2d8 from the club, 2d8 from Smite. A brutal critical, that's another 2d8. Mm -hmm. Plus a d4. I get to re-roll anything that is a 1 or a 2. Wait. What? Smite's technically a spell, right? No. no, no, it's a class ability. It's a class ability. I, I, I thought the one. same exact right. thing. Okay. No, it's a class yeah. ability. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. um, okay, never mind. It uses a spell. I, 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 I thought the same thing at the beginning of combat. combat. Don't worry, I fucking okay, okay, okay. looked up this shit before I even wanted to be a pad, and I was like, can I do both at the same time? Yeah, okay, okay. No, I was just, it, was, it was more for the sake of counter spell. Oh, I see. It was. It could have counter spell the revivify. I have rolled so fucking well. Not that evil, guys. Nice. Uh, okay. Plus, like, he doesn't really Either know what Trim wants to do, right? He just saw that Trim, like, ran up. It's not like he hasn't, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a deep understanding. Now of, all he sees you know, is they're having just, like, everyone's fucking her mind, spell just, sheets like, and shit. Bailing on Bran as if she can CPR this shit. I am stressed. I can't breathe. Feeling that's the, that is 94 points of damage. Whoa! Let's go. 94? Jesus! Okay. 94 points of damage. As I just fucking spike sound brutality, it's all sort of glowing like oh platinum. Oh my god. I and mean, just... he's he's an evil asshole. He looks at you. Do it again. You're back in timeout. Uh, <laughs> make, it, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> you know, this, the time, this is the time I need the natural 20. Come on. Beginning oh, to think no. that this is the safest place to be is in timeout. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's a low DC, right, Dutch? Like, <laughs> like thirteen? Yeah. Theoretically, thirteen. Nicole like, once theoretically. again disappears. Oh, no. I like, I like, what's happened is I've used a vine smite twice in this guy, and he's just gone. What each the time fuck? he's like, fuck each off. Time he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, that can off you, fuck. Uh, uh, Nicole once again disappears <laughs> into the realm of undeath. Nicole, Nicole's existence is why he's hit this man's really hard, and then just go away. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so Dude. while you guys figure that out, I'm gonna boot um, up Call of Duty. I need to roll <laughs> some damage. Because Nicole has a splitting headache. Or do I just play my Switch while I die? Oh, no, I'm play, um... Uh, 19... I don't know that game. I should have done this instead. Fuck me. I'm listening to what can't make sense. I thought this whole time. 24. I'm gonna need 15, everyone to chill out. The adrenaline 60. and the laughter combined with my bronchitis. Right. <laughs> Nicole takes like 65 points of psychic damage. Thank God. 65? What the fuck? Good. I roll pretty high. It's 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 uh, 10d10. Uh, I roll. You know what? I fucking minute. You're a fucking freak. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fuck you, God. bitch. Right. Fucking. How about not not psychic damage? Was it randomly actually not psychic, but slashing this whole time? No, no, no it's psychic damage. Well, fuck you. Yeah. Which no. is like the slashing, but in the brain. Yeah, right? it's like, yes, it's like <laughs> slashing in the brain, so uh, technically it's like slashing. And that does kind of cut your turn turn short there, Nicole yeah, boy. Bit. Well, I wasn't going to do anything anyways, other than... Okay. Um, fair enough, fair enough. Just give him a, just one of those. Well, well, do you have any potions or something? Oh, yeah. Oh! It does It does cut my turn, right? Like, completely. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Next turn. If you and nah, fuck it. I'll give you. You're in the plane, but I, I'll give you a bonus action if you. Oh, but then I'll bonus action take a fucking potion then. There you go. Go on. Another. How much is it? Forty four. What potion one are you using? Greater. One two. Yeah. Yeah. Forty four plus four. Four. Yeah. One two. Only one that that actually works on. Six. Only was eight d eight plus eight. Nine. Yeah. Nine. What's nine plus four? Thirteen. Twenty one. Oh, that's that's sixty six damage I took. 13 of its back. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dragon Morwen, it is your turn. Uh, yeah, I've been debating between which breath to use, and I still don't know. The damaging uh, um, one. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to okay, get God, right though, up in his you... fucking face and, like, kind of try and, like, spread my wings out. Like, if you hurt us, block like a lizard trying to like, so like you're like floating above your party, just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, kind of like trying to, like, shield them a little bit. Dragon will me. And then I'm gonna breathe fire on on this. Hold. Yeah. There you go. 
All right. Yeah, and I'll say because of the height, uh, you'll be able to do that without like, hurting the party. Up, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Up, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. So I need a, a dexterity saving throw. A lot of natural twenty. Fuck you. Well, yeah, so good. This critical. I miss roll, having this critical dude, roll, big chungus die, dude, has rolled so many at twenties today. So dude, we can blame you. I had I silver barbs on this dude. character. Four gifts, Ethan. Thank you. I regret buying it. I mean, you still take damage, just half, right? And you're wearing the shirt I bought you. And I'm wearing the shirt, yeah! And you still fucking get a bit! Have we for this guy yet? No, we haven't. Nope. What the? I buy what him the all this shit and he still kills me. What the fuck, Ethan? Why have you never bought me anything? What the fuck? Because you don't kill me in combat! I can. Apparently he's a masochist. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. Nah, I'm trying to bribe him out of it. I just need to buy him more stuff. I feel like he's kind of fucked in the brain though, so it well, just makes me want to kill stop? him more. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stop hell! Se stop sending me to the fucking Big mud talk from then. a man that's not even here in the fight. All right, do nightfall damage, you cunt. How about that? Fuck off. I Fuck fucking you. can do if I'm not dead. Oh, then don't be dead then. Don't die then. Guys, <laughs> guys, one of your party members has died. I need you guys to band together, not against each other right now. Ninety-three you know points I'm of fire damage. One. Ninety-three points you know of fire what? damage. No, I put it damage. So that's 46, right? Halved? Shut up. Shut yes. up. What? Yeah. Not exactly. Uh, 94, though, is it? Eat shit, right. pussy. Um, <laughs> and then for else? my bonus action, I'm throwing a fucking star at this motherfucker. Go on. Because I still play? have those. Roy attack. Yo. I really hope this hits. 23? Does not hit. Ah! AC 25, bet. It's gonna be 25. What a load of fucking shit, dude. What a load of pain. All right. Is that your turn? Yep, my dragon cries. Right. He's going to use a legendary action. Fuck off. There it is. Um, I started to use revenge. Called Unholy Regeneration. Mm. Oh. You can see. His body starts to faintly glow with this like blackish green energy, and he heals himself. Of course, he does. Five, eleven, fourteen, eighteen, uh, twenty-three, twenty-nine, wait, thirty. Wait, 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 wait. Is that kind of spell? Is it a spell? No. Fuck. Fuck. He Fuck. heals himself for We're useless. 40 hit points. That, that's the thing with like, these are just abilities he has. I'm so you know? yeah, yeah, useless, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I haven't got a counter spell anything today. <clears throat> uh, so he heals himself for 40 hit points. Brand's dead. Oh. Ken. Thank Thanks. God. Thanks. No. Ken, you're up. It's so annoying. Uh. Because I want to heal, but. Nicole isn't fucking here. Hello. Um, I'm fucking dead. I'm fairly injured. I'm bloodied. Well, I'm, oh, like, yeah. I'm, my, bloodied. I'm bleeding over Bran's body while I'm trying I, to I know. The thing get is, him up. <laughs> not exactly. I know, I know. I know what you're saying. It's like, it's tough because. Do it. No, no, no. Focus no, just... on some offense right now. Well, well, well the other thing spells. being, like, if I if I cast something on him, he's. Kind of like, resistances. Like. Uh... Also, we, so, we're literally killing Belle. She has a fucking heart rate monitor on her hand now because we're <clears> things have gotten <laughs> bad. So, like, I, I saw take it. no responsibility it's, for any harm it's, that befalls Belle. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually to, um, I'm using it because of my blood oxygen levels, not my heart rate, but not my heart, heart rate, rate is over 130. You know what I think of you? It's just a game, all right? You know what I think of you, Craig? <laughs> you gotta keep that up for the whole rest Fuck of the game. That's, that's so Fuck good. Up. Get that's I am so going free. to. Oh, I'm in hell. Run over the trim. <laughs> no, but we can make you that. Run over the trim. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is so hard to see because it's fucking dragon, dude. Right. And I'm gonna awesome. reach out. A second. Fuck sake. And as 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 my hand reaches towards trim. Um, the the f the sort of flesh of my my arm and my hand changes from the gray changeling to this sort of more pale, elven skin as uh, as I no longer need a fully shaped shift to to make the most of my that's cool band of of bards. So you just get uh, you and get I, like the I will, oh that's so cool. 
Fuck. I will grab onto Trim's shoulder and I will cast Cure Wounds at 6th level. You're okay. wonderful. Um, <clears throat> for... 68 plus 9. <clears throat> so... Really bad. Really bad. Oh, good. Just like me. Oh, you found it, Koiba. Oh, did you find the cliff, Koiba? Nice. 24 points yeah. of healing. I mean, it's okay, better than I will it. take it. I, it. It puts me officially just over bloodied, so I'm no longer. There you go. And uh, with my bonus action, as my blazing blue eyes stare into Trim's soul, I will say. Trim, 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 trim. You must, you must, you must, you must save him, save him, save him, save him. Save him. Me. But don't think don't that you must. You must. You must. You must. Just, believe just believe that you can, that you can. As, we as, we as we all do. We, all do. we need Brian. We can't do this without him, without him, without him. And he can't do this without you, Trim. Trim the wild heart. Trim, trim, trim. Who proves that size truly does not matter. That power, that power, power, power can come in small packages. Bring him back, bring back, bring back, bring back, back. In the name of the Father, the Ghost, and the Holy Spirit. I bet. Uh, uh, but I would assume and, uh, that that means you're inspired, right? <laughs> She's yeah. inspired. Yeah. Imagine if I. So you get a D12. It. Oh, thanks. On That's any you. ability check, attack Thank roll you. or saving throw. Thank you. All right. Good choice. Bring him back. Make yeah. your choice. Is that your turn again? Yes. Just let him die. Atanas. Oh, Bell's just gone, but oh, real gone. quick. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, whilst I'm we're back, on the, I'll say, I'm whilst back. we're on the sappy bit, yo, Dutch, that glow up you've had, by the way, from that legendary resistance yeah. for two years. Oh, my man. Yeah, dude. I was. Glow what a glow up. up. I was a big yeah. boy. What a glow up. Still am, but significantly. No, less big. what a significantly glow big. up. <laughs> Thanks, Being King. nice to him isn't gonna get you out of whatever demi. Let me out. So can, also, can I can I get a demi paint? <laughs> yeah, can I get a demi paint now? Uh, you know my PayPal. Uh, that <laughs> be Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> Sent you one dollar. Oh, oh my god! It's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Okay. Well, I'll um, just do it, Bell. <laughs> We're getting. Back. I can't breathe. Um. Perish. Well, uh, I'm gonna go up <laughs> yeah, to, within melee and like attack him a bunch. <laughs> gonna go up in melee okay. and attack him a bunch. <laughs> Ryan dies in game and Bell dies IRL. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Better. Uh, fucking. It hits. It's 15 plus like 13. 15 plus 13? Yeah, that hits. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough oxygen in my brain. Yes, guys, 28 hits. Let's go. Deep breath. In for four, out for four. We can take a pause. <laughs> 30. 30 points of damage? To hit. Oh, 30 to no, hit. No, Sorry. 30 yeah, it also hits. What the fuck? I love breathing. It's my favorite. This is a serious oh, moment, Ethan, for fuck's sakes. This is, how he, this is how he copes. Let, let him be. This is how he copes. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, if we've oh learned anything in the past, we've got a point like no. Ethan, Ethan, hold up, hold up, Ethan. If we've hold learned up. anything in the past, like, three to four months, humor is how I cope with, like, death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did, can we oh, please God. finish her turn? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh, <laughs> 19 damage for the first one. Okay. And, um... <coughs> um, 15 for the second one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take my night let now. Go on. Jesus Christ. Oh. Mm. Past the booth? <laughs> it is now <laughs> Peter Orson's turn. And he is oh, tunnel visioned. Oh, Bell, I'm sorry. Tunnel visioned on, on the, zoo. the big on fuck the off zoo. dragon. Um. Actually, he's going to do a multi-attack, so that includes a sweeping attack. So that is an attack against Trim, oh, okay. Gen, Thank God for healing. and uh, Morwen. Those are all... Does he have those, to make those... a Christmas saving throw by any chance? Sorry? Uh. Does he have to make a Christmas saving throw by any chance? Uh, what is the status effect? I mean, it's... I'm, uh, char, 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 no, it's not even a status effect. If, if he fails, he just can't attack me. Oh, okay. Yeah. In that case, then, yeah. These are at disadvantage because he is attacking someone who isn't okay. me. 
Uh, it's a fourteen. So if he only failed. I had a reaction. So he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna legendary resist that effect. Then in that case, you know. Oh, there uh, it is. <laughs> now, that means that I. He has disadvantage on any saving throw makes against my spells next turn, which is great. Okay. And disadvantage I'm on all these attacks. Disadvantage on all these attacks. Disadvantage doesn't matter when you roll the same number twice, baby. Uh, twenty-seven. Oh, to uh, the main bit is you guys all have resistance to this damage. It is okay. all half damage. That's good. Yeah, it hits. So for sure. Care. I'm so fucked. <laughs> yeah, I know, but <laughs> not as bad. Hopefully. Um. <clears throat> I'm breathing at disadvantage right now, dude. Oh my god. One hundred percent. Count, count for four. Really slow, long inhale, exhale. Oh, and Brand doesn't exist anymore, does he? Nope. Nope. I'm just a corpse. 12, 14. Oh my god. You guys take 20 points of slashing damage. Woo! Ha is that halved or... Why, we uh, that? By, wait, why is it being halved? Koiba said so. Oh. I don't know. I, I, if they're attacking someone who isn't me, it's at disadvantage and all damage. Okay, so 10 resisted. points of slashing damage. Then. So 10 points. Okay. Uh, and... And... You're gonna get pumped with a fuckload of necrotic damage as well. Good. Wait, how and much was it? Yeah, but Brand's dead. Ten oh, points. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't get the resist the resistance because Brand's dead. No, we dead. have it from Koiba. Yeah, because he's dead. Oh, we have it from Koiba. Yeah, oh, from from Koiba. Koiba. We have it from Koiba. So you still have resistance. This man's ain't attacking me, so. Mm -hmm. 16, 18, just yeah, you just said you did a shadow roll. Twenty-one. Wait. Twenty-nine. Does it work when you're out there? 30. Yep, because it is just based on the 40, last person 45. I attacked. I do not have to be near him. 45, okay. so 22 points of necrotic damage to all three okay. of you. Thank you. And the Don't other worry, Psycho, I looked. The other three attacks, <laughs> he's just going to fucking batter the fuck out of the dragon in front of him. Yo, oh, oh, no, don't don't, don't get rid of my ninth level spell like this. Again, again, <laughs> all at disadvantage, Dude. all damage resisted. Can you, yeah. if, can you think of any argument? That yeah, a why big he wouldn't fuck of dragon, dragon is not the biggest threat to him in the room right now? My ninth yes, level spell! I, I lost my fucking heal, life! So I'm not. Oh, let's just this is Uh, 18 to hit? You're gonna legendary resist 18 these does nuts. not hit. Okay. Uh, 25 to hit? <laughs> yeah, that hits. And a uh, 26 to hit. That hits. Okay, so what two of them hit. Plus your attack modifier, 20? <clears throat> It's as high as Mind your Nathan, business, Koiba. How about that? I'm telling you now, Dutch, if you crit again, I'm business. hitting you with the meme. I don't give a fuck. He's oh, like, you have... <clears throat> 11 plus 7 is 18, plus 5 is 23. Um, 33, but half because of uh, because of Nicole, so that would be 16 points oh of slash damage. Oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. True. Both 16 points of no, slash damage. No, I could have avoided all this. Oh, that's a shame. <sighs> Uh, 16 points of damage. Okay. And... Three, 12, 22, 28, uh, 37, 46, 50, 52, 53, 54, half to 27. Points of necrotic damage for the first attack. Uh, sorry, what? Twenty-seven points of necrotic. Twenty-four. That was the first attack. Second attack. Two, four, ten, thirteen, twenty-three, half. Eleven points of slashing damage. <clears throat> and eleven, <coughs> nine, sixteen, nineteen. Oh my 19. god! You're all fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, the fuck. Twenty-three. 25, oh, just wrong. 32, 37, Imagine breathing, 39, 49, so Wish 24 did. points in the cross damage. I did. <laughs> Under 100 hit points on the dragon. Right. Oh, Yay. and um... Wait, you still have hit points? <laughs> well, we did it, you're dead. I'm gonna shit on your dead body while I'm up here, alright? Don't fucking make me. my frodo. <laughs> no, oh my god. Yeah, that's his turn. Oh no. Let's replace Johnny Trip. Cash's hurt with I shit myself today instead of right. I hurt myself today. Well, we know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, whips out another diamond and just, Come well, 
manically sobbing, <laughs> and I get to roll with my D12 inspiration. You roll a 12, easy clamp. Hold on, first we're gonna roll the dice to see if I need it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a natural one, but I'm a halfling, so I can re -roll. re roll those. The natural one. Nice. That's so ridiculous. Let's go. Oh, halfling luck, baby. Okay, okay. It's not great, so the thanks for the inspiration. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes! Yes! That's a 10 on the d12. Plus this, plus five. That's 25, bitch. Oh. 25? Yeah. Oh, imagine alive. skill doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's a like diamond. 30. And like between like the <laughs> sobbing, you, you do feel. <laughs> Like the, the the message that you got from Gen, like kind of like still echoes through your head. Like a beautiful orchestra. So ring maybe out. instead the sobbing calms a little bit because Gen's <laughs> words were enough to try and maybe like okay, focus, focus, hold on. And your you diamond begins to flash and it dissipates, <laughs> and you can see Bran's eyes are there, lifeless, but that blue light is slowly starting to just fade back in as Bran Redemption wakes up and oh, just thank <gasps> God. Redemption. You're thank alive, uh, Bran. <laughs> I'm not there. Okay. Alive once more. And then, and then I... Up in the DC. Oh, mm, yeah. Yeah, mm. With one health. I have a thing mm -hmm. I want to do. It's Same. probably dumb. No, I'm going to do Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bonus action. Use my other wild shape. And I am going to... Well, this is probably fucking nightmare fuel for Aberan, but it'll help in the long run. It will become... My the giant scorpion shape, but so I'm all my I'm right over top his body and I'm protecting him from the the thing. So if if the big scary man tries to hit him, he'll hit me instead. But how big so is you're... that? How big is that scorpion? Large. Large. Do I have scorpions? I fucking do. I think I just saw one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Didn't oh we God. fight something else, but we didn't have it, so you use scorpions yeah. instead. Maybe I'm just high trim for now. So what's the size again? Huge. Large, just large. large. Okay, so this would be the I right size. Is. Then. That's good. Large me. Uh, what is the? I, I'm like I'm positioning myself so there's enough room for Aberan to kind of like shimmy out from under me and get up when he can. But like I'm basically just trying to impose my body. So he's like under your tail. Brand, <laughs> yeah, between Brand and the, so Bran, the Maddie. Brand will be here. Gen is still beside you, like here. Then fuck it. Yeah. Okay. La, 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 la. Yeah. Anything else? Nope, that's my turn. All right, Nicole. Oh, I get a turn. Can I get a wisdom save, please? You gotta oh, roll. Of course, dude. <clears throat> there goes that resistance, boys. So, uh, 16? 16? Yeah. You're out. Oh, oh my god, god. Oh, The dude. headache disappears, and you, like, look, and oh. your vision begin becomes less blurry, and you can see, like, like this, this, this faint shimmer and as you touch it you just get transported back um there's so much fucking shit on my screen right now you, tra you get transported back to where you last were and you still have your entire turn to do whatever the fuck you want did it, it did it can't move up and start attacking yeah he's with the melee with the can again oh so with advantage uh that is a 29 hits that is three. Oh, I have to check every time if it's plus two. Yeah, three D eight and one D four. Right, this is my base. Ooh, shit. Fucking now hard to read dice. I, the, the dice is really hard to read. <laughs> I had to re-roll ones and twos. That's 24 points of damage. Okay. On the first one. Very good. Uh, nice. And then I will go again. Crit, baby, crit. Uh, that is 30 to hit. That hits. So we still know it has at least an AC of 28. Yeah. I think I, I, think I hit with a 27 at one point, so... Possible. Be nice. That's a two, so I can reroll that. Amazing. That's a two, so I can reroll that. Amazing. Fifteen. Twenty-nine points damage. Okay. 
And then I will... Uh, I'm just making sure I don't have any other bonus actions that require me to do anything. I don't, so I will do a, another potion, agree, potion of great healing. Okay. That's my bonus action. That's 44. <clears throat> 10 to plus 14 points healed back up, and that will be my turn. Okay, he's going to use legendary action to use another ability, uh, you know, one of, another one of his unholy regenerations. Oh, good. Uh, he doesn't have to. He's going to heal himself. This isn't a, a spell, bit. is it? No. No, it's not. Cool. We asked this last time. Yeah. Ten, I, I thought we did, but you know when you're like, wait, 20, did we ask? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't hurt to ask again. Yeah. Heals, himself yeah, maybe. For, heals himself for 29. There you go. Which so is exactly the damage you dealt. Yeah, I was, say, I was like, so, so basically I just want to attack yeah, that turn. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, okay. Cool. Mormon. Alright. Clearly, am I putting this on you or Duke's back? Oh, uh, mine. Yeah. Do I regain breath back? I do. I nice. five. You're fucking welcome. So, uh, uh, I guess you just fire breath again. Go for it. It's a deck save, yeah? Deck save. Well, I pull out 12 D10s. 27. Fucking cock Oh my word. So I just want to see how this looks, dude. <laughs> Fucking massive! <It's> huge! <laughs> Can we see what a small person attacking looks like? Let's go! Oh, uh, yeah, we can. Hold on. That's fucking funny. Right. <laughs> it's a bop! Just a get bop. head butted. <laughs> Fuck, uh... Headbutt is right. <gasps> oh, no. What? Little, little range attack. Oh, Spell attack. He did show us this last Pretty session. Pretty cool. Did. Yeah, but this time it's a fucking dragon, dude. Yeah, we were doing it with uh, Happy Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got a D8 on the floor. Love my life. Nice. Step on it. Oh. Step on me. I'd rather step on my metal D4. Okay. That's the good shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> you that is the good shit, to be confirmed. fair. Fuck, 59 plus 17. 59 plus 17. 76, 76, 76. yeah. 76? Okay, 76 points of fire damage. Half, right, because you made the save? Yeah. 76 uh, is a good 38. Use. Shit. Alrighty. Name one thing. And then, Lawrence action, I'm going to hurl a fucking star at him, bro. Go on. This fucking better hit. 26. Yep. Yeah. God. Boo! It has an AC of at least 26, boys. Now, really damage. I think it's 25. I think it's 25 CC. Ooh, ooh, that's a good damage roll, though, boy. Let's try it. Thirty-seven points of radiant damage. Thirty-seven. Yeah. I do want to finish him off. <gasps> oh, oh, that's got to be a phase three. Oh, dude, I fucking like <clears throat> whip my tail like I'm playing fucking baseball with the stars. Mm -hmm. Push it straight through his fucking head, and knocks it clean off. And with that, his body begins to shrink again. He falls to the floor, and he just like sits on his knees. Looks at you all, and you can see the blue light fade from his eyes as he just slumps down. That is combat over. Let me quickly swap. I just back. go over and just start for no reason. And I'm just like kicking yeah. the shit out of his little body, and I'm very upset. Okay. What the fuck? You're still a that? scorpion, right? <laughs> oh, no, if, I, if I'm sure he's dead, I drop Wild Shame. Just stupid. Me. And I'm just like kicking Alrighty. in while having a bit of a meltdown. The storm above the room also stops and a portal opens in front of you. Um, Bran, as you get up, you soon again drop to your knees and you all look at Bran and you can see the blue light in his eyes kind of starts flickering and fading in and out. Breathing becomes hard and your armor, your blackened uh, Deathwalker armor begins to kind of dent and crumble. 
Is he becoming human again? Or whatever he was before? Oh, he's what was he dying. Uh, and with that, you you all, you, with that, you all blink. And you appear <gasps> in a dark room. In front of you, you can see this, this tall, feminine figure. The black raven wings and the black raven feathers. And the stone, expressionless mask. Um, figured I'd transport you here to give you a little more time to overthink things, but... Abran, you remember the conditions I explained you when oh. being turned into a Death Walker? That once we had dealt with Orcus, I would have to repay the debt. That's the conditions for becoming my Death Walker. Becoming a Death Walker, in general, happens because your soul has unfinished business an innate lust for vengeance vengeance you've just served Hold it. if kept in the more in the, in the other planes for too long you'll have died but granted that you've helped me and protected me in my realm multiple times and saved your own realm a handful of times i can stop this process from happening but I figured that you decide. And you and your friends and your family here talk it over before I start meddling. So I'll leave you to it. Just shout for me when you've made up your mind. And she disappears from the room, just this flutter of raven feathers. And Bran, you you, lie, you you kind of sit there on the floor on your knees still. Eyes are still flickering. Your breathing is still pretty pretty intense. Your armor has stopped crumbling, but you're not feeling very well. I will kneel down next to Bran and put sort of a hand on his shoulder and just to say the choice is yours mate I mean there's so much you could do in life but wait 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 hold, hold on is, is she meaning so she your choice to no longer be a, a death walker but that doesn't necessarily mean to come back either is it just mean dead dead or death walk is not the not the other option oh, no. you don't get to come back as you before because <clears throat> she really should clarify that because that's a very big difference on the decision you just hear this voice like kind of echo throughout the room aberan has always had one foot in the afterlife and one foot in life with his reason for becoming or his soul becoming able to turn into a death walker now settled his other foot wants to move on to the afterlife as well so it's either i stop the process with some conditions making sure that he doesn't spend too much time in the prime material plane Or he dies. Okay, I know that was supposed to help, but I'm still confused. That's the question. The matter is yours, Bran. Do you want to rest? Or do you still think you have more to do in helping the Raven Queen? I, but I thought the point is he's not going to help the Raven. She said she's going to stop the process. But it's no, death the, or going back yeah, to the process. Home. That she stops is the process of him dying. Of dying. Oh. It's either oh, he okay. stays as a as a head. champion of the Raven Queen in the Shadowfell as he has been previously, or he dies. Oh. I assume I'm getting this right. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yes and no. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah. If I stop the process of his soul dying, means I have to pull the other half of his soul. From the afterlife that it's already in, which means that um, he'll be a lot less free to leave the Shadowfell than he was before. And with a lot less, I mean really only yeah. exceptional desperate times. Hmm. 
So I get to choose whether I want to move on or whether I want to defend the Shadowfell. Mr. DM. Hello. <laughs> when... <clears throat> so when I, Abran first became a Deathwalker, mm -hmm. the Raven Queen took him to the room of Hourglasses. Yes. And if I remember correctly, she showed him his. She did. Was his out of sand when she showed it to him? Uh, no. Which is the whole reason why she decided to intervene to begin with. I didn't think it was, but I want to check. So no, you were not meant to die at that time. If you stop this... Is my hourglass empty? Are you going against that? If I was, I would not have offered it. This is still a side effect of your untimely passing when, P when Peter Orson put that blade through your torso. Part of your soul moved on, the other part held on, clinged on to the feeling of retribution and vengeance hard enough to turn you into what you are now. But now that that thirst for vengeance has been fulfilled, your soul is at completely at rest and wants to move on. But it is still all due to the fact that you met your end before you were supposed to. Which is why I want to give you the choice before I start meddling. It's your life after all. Like, oh. You don't. To whatever plane your soul has made head home. I, 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 I cannot see in. I don't know. Somewhere peaceful. Unless. There's several options. But. You'll go to a, you know. A place where your soul feels like it belongs. So whether that is a peaceful plane uh, or, or afterlife or um, a more battlefield afterlife where you can keep fighting for infinite times. It's whatever your soul Brand's? decides was, to be. Sorry, who was Bran's original god? Rios. It was Rios. Sorry. God of War. God of War, yeah. Sounds going to Valhalla. That's, Maybe. Yeah, probably. It is probably... Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever it is in D&D. I mean, Norse gods exist in D&D, so Valhalla probably does as well. True. If you meddle... Is that fixed? Am I able to change my mind later on? If I meddle, you'll have to wait for your hourglasses run out. Unless you spend too long outside of the Shadowfell. That will make it so that your soul <clears throat> decides it's time to. How long's too long? If he decides to spend time outside of the Shadowfell, it takes a couple days for the Shadowfell to properly no longer have any influence on that sort of thing, so any anywhere longer than a couple of days and Soul will begin to resist being alive. A couple of days, a, a year, a decade? Like Davy, Davy Jones show. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. I think that given your condition <clears throat> and the fact that the other half of your soul has been enjoying 
afterlife for so long. A couple days a year. Yes. <laughs> we can long. make it like a big party every year. Like a birthday. Yeah. A death day. A Your death friends, day. of course, know where the access to this plane is. In Kalzir, so it's, it's a bit uncomfortable, but they could decide to swing by every once in a while. I have no problem getting in touch, but... Yeah. As for everyone else... You've done sure. more than enough of your duty, Bran. If you feel you need to rest, don't force yourself that you have to be here. Which I know is horrible to say. Well, but for any of us to ask you to stay... You don't... Be somewhat I... selfish, right? Yeah. But it's your well, soul I mean, in a good day. It would have been a little nice to know before I used two diamonds, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you can get those back. Trent. In all in all honesty, if I were I'll to pay you if I were to try and sway you of my own beliefs, it would be that the hourglass truly dictates when you go. And I'm in uh in that case. I mean, I'm in the position where I know I'm where I'm going when I go. So, I like sort of think I do as well. Well, I've seen it firsthand. <laughs> More than enough times. Silver City is a nice place. <sighs> Too nice. <clears throat> Hard to come back from. I don't think I'd be unhappy to go, but I think there are other things we've been dealing with that need finishing off. Not to mention that I still feel somewhat indebted to you and would like to work that off. I mean, it was just two diamonds. It's not that big a deal, I but okay, you if you queen. insist. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Very well. <clears throat> a second there to you, Trim. <laughs> just, a, just 800 gold or something. And uh, uh, the Raven Queen Wait, just kind of reappear physically in the room. And with that, uh, she plucks out a feather from her robe, holds it out front of her. Nev swoops up from your shoulder to pick it up in his beak, and he flies back to you. And just kind of, with the feather, like, slightly almost tickles your cheek. And the feather disappears. And you suddenly feel this, like, surge of energy just kind of, like, just, like, enter your body. And your eyes stop flickering, and your armor stops crumbling. And your breathing becomes normal again. This does mean that from now until your hourglass runs out, two days max outside of the shadow fell a year, unless you decide to want to move on. But please let me know before you decide to do that. I imagine it would be inconvenient. No, I just need to find another champion as well. Um, for you, all, seeing as your friends, family, she presents you each, or not each, no, she presents, um, Nakul, with a small, like, 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 raven chick, like a very, a baby raven, and, and, and like, puts it in the palm of your hand. <clears throat> Keep this in your guild hall. See it as a direct line of communication with Aberan when he's here. Anything you tell the bird, Nev will then tell Aberan, and vice versa. Welcome, Ziv. I suppose I have to find a name for you. Right. As far as um, put that out of the way, 
will open up a portal for you to return to your guild hall in Kalsir whenever you're ready. And she just like kind of like waves with her with her wing, and the portal appears. Just I suppose friend won't be coming with us for this time. It's up to him. He has two days. What do you say, Bren? A couple days of drinking endless alcohol that won't affect you, or...? <laughs> One last you celebration before you go. <laughs> we can do a day or two. <laughs> I think Hilda would appreciate a good drink. I should show you, I should show you what the guild hall has achieved in a year, I suppose. That's true, I have... I haven't even ventured back here for the <laughs> and for and the you long can see time. the second one that we made because I can I can tra teleport us there by the the trees in each place so we mm. can go spend one day in one guild hall and then one day in the next one like a pub crawl but a guild hall crawl a guild hall crawl <laughs> burning bush GHC baby I think I'd like that. <clears throat> all right so with that you all take your leave step through the portal and you appear in the middle of the living area of the guild hall Bran it's almost as if a weight has kind of fell off your shoulders this is there's no this feeling that you knew that one day Peter Orson was going to show his face again that that is now settled um the one bit of unfinished personal business you had left to deal with uh, post your adventures with the Heroes of Exile to defeat Orcus. And the rest of you, you feel um, shaken. It was a hard fight. But you all survived. Mm, got two days of, of drinking and having a fun time ahead of you before Ooh. Abran has to go. Party. And with that, <laughs> I think we'll, uh, we'll end it for now. And who knows when we'll Yay. see the Heroes of Exile again. Oh. They'll be hungover. God. <laughs> that was a sesh. Damn. Stressful. I... Fucking hell. Fine. I'm gonna uh. ruin everyone's mood. <laughs> because on the second day, Bran is going to give the magic bracelet of communication to Trim. Doesn't matter. We have to fucking... Who does it talk to again? All of us. Yeah, idiot. All of us. If we're close. It's five miles. Did I not have yeah. one before? No. no I don't think I don't so. Either. <laughs> and I'm not going to be... Because I guess they were for the OG, <laughs> like... Oh, I'll give mine to Morwen yeah. then, because I'm like... Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess sending it's fine. Like, uh, that's going to be so useful um, when you have an yeah, so this was... Yeah, right? <laughs> the first time we revisited the Heroes of Exile since uh, we ended campaign one. Uh, I spells. Frick you, Dutch. Hope you all enjoyed the session there's there's more one shots good. along this line four years that, there's definitely some more unfinished business Ooh. regarding the years of exile that we'll pick up throughout the next you know couple of years to kind of just Us? decide to unfinished revisit business? but i figured mm -hmm. for today being the four year anniversary stream of dungeon select i wanted to bring back the old characters the characters that started it all or like the campaign the, the party that started it all I was going to say, not uh, quite the characters. Ago. No, but like, the, 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 no. the, the brand, the brand, Heroes of Exile TM. Oh, nice. Let's go. Uh, yeah. I only got two of those. Yeah, barbarian. That, that started yeah, barbarian. Barbarian. the OGs. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys enjoyed Maybe watching. We'll the next one. Thank I you so much. I just want to say, some of this fucking flavor text for College of Glamour is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, all right. At 14th level, your appearance permanently gains an otherworldly aspect and makes you look more lovely and fierce. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Hell um, yeah. You take At on an appearance of time. unearthly beauty for one minute or until your concentration ends. Like, it's all. Oh, you're <laughs> not afraid. Oh. You become the front cover of Vogue, right, for mm. a minute. There you go. Just... But yeah, I hope you guys yeah. all enjoyed watching. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I kind of, dude, I wish we could do like a big discourse with everyone. Can we do that? Mm. To recap good. four we years and talk about four DS? Mm, I, I can neither this confirm week. nor deny whether I will be there. Hold so on, let me check. Is that something I, I can set up? I could you turned up on the day. I, cu I couldn't do this Thursday, unfortunately. I have no, already like, got if plans. It's a special occasion. It doesn't have to be a Thursday, per se. Just... But yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, 
It's like, I've, uh, but we won't I'm release. Sure uh, but we just say that there won't be we'll a discourse on Thursday this week. But at some point in the near future, we'll do like a big discourse with all of us yeah. to kind of talk about. And you, you just do a capture the whole call and rather than scrap yeah, exactly. the overlay, we'll just, rather we'll than we'll make use a whole these overlays overlay just for, uh, that we yeah. use now for the discourse instead yeah. of the, the normal yeah. common ones. Yeah. Because I feel like as a you know as part of the four year anniversary, I do I would like to have everyone there just to kind of talk about their highlights of, of dungeon select oh, so yeah. far and all that shit. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for playing. For watching everybody. <laughs> Thanks for playing, y'all. Hope you guys had fun. We want to host or raid anyone. Or... Uh, is anyone fucking live? Guys, because yeah, really. is still oh, live. live. Hell yeah. At, or Ecto's live, and he was our first ever guest four mm. years, whatever yeah. years ago. Uh... Either are valid choices. Shit. Dicely started before us. They're still going. They're going for like six hours. They're going for hours six today. hours. Yeah, it's fuck? a big sesh. It's a Fucking big sesh. Jesus. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, well, at the risk of them like ending soon, we'll we'll, we'll go show Ecto some love. Hell yeah. The oh, dude, we don't even guessed. follow Ecto on the DS channel, so we've never raided him before. So let's fucking do that. What then. the fuck? Wow. How the dare fuck? you? Four years. Right. It finally paid off. All right. We're gonna just raid Ectomaster. Just, you know, if you have some DS emotes, spam them. If not, just tell them we sent you. Um, Ecto, great dude, has been a guest in Campaign 1 uh, before, like way back, uh, and is very good at reminding me that he wants another spot, uh, uh, which he will get at some point. I'll hit him up, but it's just been, uh, you know, people that haven't been guests yet have prio, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'll invite him for some of the one shots that we do during next like, charity month. I think I'll, that will be cool. a, good, a good solution. Uh, All right. Thanks, really everybody. Good. I'm exhausted. Yeah, Peace out. Oh, God. <gasps> Take care. They're coming to raid us. Dyson's coming to raid us. No. 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 Oh, my God, Ethan. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> We, no. we now have to wait. We now have to wait for them to show up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll just sit here and wait then. Oh boy. We'll say hi. We'll ask them to raise me. Cancel. They knew. They yes, saw. They good one. They heard. Good. Good. <laughs> good one. Right, Let's go raid right, Ecto. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> it's all about the raid. So uh, uh, this is awkward. Um, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Welcome, Raiders! Oh my god, Ethan. How was your six plus hour session? Oh god, I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, we just ended our four year anniversary sesh. Did uh, you hear us all scream? No, it's it not because we don't love was, you. It's it was a session. Done. It was a big one. Definitely worth uh, the rewatch whenever you have time. <laughs> But uh, yeah. we're about to raid someone as well now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ethan, what the guys. fuck is this? <laughs> we appreciate the sentiment, but you know, it's getting late, man. <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. Well, that's funny. Uh, that is, it is on brand. Uh, we appreciate you, though. We, we, we fucking do. We love you. <laughs> oh. I, 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 we love all of you. You guys are great. But, you know, it, it, just, it just be like oh. that. But oh. instead, how about you guys come along? And say hi to Ecto Master with us, because Ecto was uh, yeah, has yeah. been a guest uh, in the first campaign of DS, uh, and he's he's, he's he friend of the show. Yes, he's friend of the show. So how about we all just go show him some love, you know? Raidception. Oh yeah. True. We'll make this a we'll make this a combined dungeon D &D, select just, just and D &D raid. dicely Ethan. raid. Oh, Ethan didn't get to use them before, so he's gonna no. fuck oh, with I those am, backgrounds am, right at the end. Oh, pull out the jack, pull out the jacks one. That's a masterpiece. Well, uh, yeah, pull out we'll, uh, the jacks one we'll, uh, and then leave frame. So there you go. I made the, I made the well, drop that in his chat. Ago. You know, copy and paste that. The dungeon select and dicey raid. We'll, we'll collab. We'll, we'll collaborate on this one. You know, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, yeah thanks yeah, so much yeah. for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks for four years of dungeon select, and there's there's many more years to come. Uh, you don't already follow Dicely D and D. True. Go follow Dicely D and D because their campaign is phenomenal. All the players are amazing. Six hours of it. And I. I wish I had the time to spend more time in their community, but I just don't. But I fucking love them nonetheless. They're all fucking their awesome. Their are on YouTube, just like they ours. Th Cash true. up on both. Yeah. They're phenomenal people. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Ecto! See you guys later. Peace the out. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Hey love guys. you. Catch you next time. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. I'm gone. Bom, bom, bom. Bom, 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 do, 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 do. And now slowly, like, fade out. Just like... <laughs>